I'm Shane. I'm Bo. We are your Kentucky Fried Critics. Welcome back, everybody. know how this is here we are episode so, nine nine yay we were we we <laughs> talked like about we this. were on like episode six for like three episodes some for I, some reason i desperately while editing had to constantly be like did we say it right did we did we and i'm like looking at the name because you know i name every yeah. file by the which episode it is so i'm just like looking back like oh we got it right I'm constantly. Oh, thank God. There's not like four episodes, six files. I've, well, I've been <laughs> worried that we had so many that I was just going to have to cut out the part where we said the episode number because <laughs> right. it was just wrong. Just wrong we've been entirely. right every time. Nice. I'm very proud of us. Even the time where, like, one time I remember we just went with it without even, neither one of us talked about it beforehand or anything. And I was like, that's the one we got wrong. It's that has to be the we one. we are, man. We de- I don't know if that's true, but we definitely were. Yeah. We were on it that day. I'll <laughs> say that much for sure. Uh, but yeah, so this is episode nine. This is no longer uh, Halloween. Aww. But you guys know, so there's no... There's no reason we still can't be spooky, damn it. Well, that's right. Well, and there's no more contest game, whatever, you know, how we used to do it. So that means they've already even seen this announcement. Yep. But for those of you who don't know... That if you didn't see last year, Yeah, if you're new here and you don't know this, last year we did a thing... To transition. Yeah, just to ease off of the, the Halloween, but still get into the Thanksgiving feel, right? We did Thanksgiving. That's right. The the demon turkey slasher comedy. Something. Wildness. Wild. New to both of us. Yeah, never seen it. But it was awesome. And it was, uh, we loved it way more than we thought we would. Oh, I was expecting, because like. It, it, well, like, I love trauma. Yeah, we I both love yeah. trauma. So I wasn't expecting much. But fuck, man, they put everything they had yeah. into it. So we both were going into it like, well, I love a trauma movie. It wasn't a trauma. We thought we both. Yeah, I did. I thought, thought it was, it was a, trauma a trauma movie, movie until That's we watched one. it. Yeah, we came in and we were like, oh, it's not a trauma movie. It's definitely done in that style. It's that spirit oh, yeah. of movie. They definitely it's, you know, have it's not that poultry guys, but it is like that. <laughs> if we're gonna, because trauma has done their own. Like uh, we can all do. There's a room enough for poultry movies across the horror dimension i guess yeah so don't let it stop you if you have an idea yeah the revenge uh, of the gobbly gooker uh so we use that as our transition they do have a sequel and we figured why not just pick up where we left off so we're Let's drinking in we're, we're drinking so that wild turkey yeah wild turkey 101 going strong because this is one badass wild turkey so you need a badass whiskey wild to go turkey. with it <laughs> This is the whiskey he'd drink with us before, he, oh, dude, if, before if turkey, he killed us. Turkey. Again, yeah, his name is Turkey. In the first with one. With an I-E. I know, I know. In the first one, I don't think they actually said that. No. I don't think they gave him it. Like, again, everybody called. They said Turkey because yeah. he was a turkey. But I don't think that was, like, officially his name. I appreciate that this one gave us his, his name, actual is, name turkey. is Turkey. Turkey. Uh, but yeah, so we've got our wild turkey. We're going to talk about some wild turkey. It is a wild oh, movie. Shit. Uh, again, before we go any further, we have to, the official Let's title see. to this is Thanks Killing 3. No, you did not mishear us. I know we said we were doing the sequel. It is the sequel. It is the direct sequel. Yep. It's part of the movie. It's part of the gag. <laughs> we'll get we'll get you there. Just yeah, know just that wait. We're, just know that we're we'll not tell dumb. you what happened to two. Yeah, we're not dumb. Don't think that <laughs> <laughs> those dumbasses they just skipped over yeah, two. It, that is not Can't what count. happened here. Yeah. So we have we have a little bit to go over before we really start talking about everything. But that I think that's really it though. Like uh you guys know since it's not a beer, it's just a wild turkey. We're not giving you a review on some wild turkey. Go drink it. You've drank it. If you have it, good luck. Yeah, well and it's you can find it a you know it's when when we do craft mid beer mid shelf. Well when, you know, when we do craft beer Sometimes that's hard to find. Yeah, you you could be on the other side of the country. Yeah. You could be in a different... We have people listen to us in different countries all the time. Oh, yeah, it might be hard to get some of these in Europe. Yeah, and so, like, uh, it's well worth us saying a little bit, right? I I guarantee you even the French can get wild turkey. Wild turkey 101 is 100% sold probably everywhere in the world. Yeah. Right? If not, you can order it online, I'm sure. So... I don't, there's no reason for us to do this. But, you know, try it. Have fun. Have fun. Kick some back. 
after watching a movie like this, you might you might want, want some. some. You're gonna it be like, help, I need a drink. The might fuck help. Did take, I just yeah, watch? <laughs> take the edge off a little bit there. Uh, that was too wild. It's, it definitely is. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with um, the people. The people involved. It's a short, short, it's short list. list, guys. So we'll start at the top with our director. He's also one of the writers. Like I said, short list, and so yeah, it's nice to be able to start knocking them, knocking them out right out. away. So that's Jordan Downey. He is also our director, writer from the first. This is not some dude trying to steal his project. Nope. Same guy. Um, he's not done a lot. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, he needs he's to do more, this. dude. I think he's great. He, uh, I did read this. He uh, was a student under Wes Craven. Nice. And then has done. So, I mean, he's he's got like a little bit of a story. So he's past. clearly a, a huge trauma fan. Learned from the master. Yes, he needs to do. Well, and he's stuff. done these and he's done some shorts recently that have done really well in the horror uh, realm. One. And I've not watched it yet because I figured this is something I'll mention to you and me and you can watch. Uh, maybe it'll be a little mini thing because it's a Ooh, short. Right. Yeah. We can just sit uh, He did a short that is an, an update to Critters. Ooh. And so I don't know about you, but I'm down to see that. Yeah. Because it's apparently d- done really, like, the people who've seen it are like, dude, that's dope. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Fucking badass, because I vaguely recall the one, the original Critters. I love Critters. It's, it's fun, cheesy yes. 80s schlock. Yes. Well, especially once you get to the later ones, too, like three and stuff like that, they get really weird. Uh, it's the one that's got uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like Next suppose. Halloween. Yeah. Uh, so. I, I, again, I don't know a lot to say about Jordan Downey, but he, I do. I, I do. I like work. this shit. I, I like I, the last one. I like this one. I can't it's wait for wild. more stuff. Uh, so yeah, like I said, though, maybe that's something. Maybe that's another thing that we can start putting uh, into other places. You know what I mean? Like uh, yeah. try to get more advertisement to the podcast using like some kind Do of little mini short thing. on TikTok or, or something. something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, ideas. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm always thinking. Always thinking. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Uh, and so. Other than that, our next writers are going to be Michael Downey. You might have noticed that's the same last name. Brothers. I would assume. Cousins. Something. Uh, just, no, just coincidentally, same name. Or, or you know, it, maybe he didn't even really help. Maybe he just bounced ideas <laughs> off of him. Who knows? Hey, bro, what do you think of this? Well, that you know, sounds like when, good, man. When you're doing like one of these uh, really Collaboration cheap, ones. Well, in a really cheap, cheap movie like this, too. It's a little bit easier to yeah. be like, well, the guy was helping me, <laughs> right? Like, right, uh, give him a little on. bit of credit. Yeah. It's only he once is he, my brother. Yeah, after it's all. only once studios get involved where they're like, well, I'm not trying to cut another paycheck, right? Yeah, like, well, studios nobody, ruin everything. This wasn't worried. Nobody was worried about a paycheck here. No. It was like, it was just like, bro, <laughs> it's like we're not getting paid for this. Yeah, it was just like, bro, you want me to put your name in it? <laughs> like we paid, we paid the production team and the actors, like we're the done. director, writer. We're not getting paid for this. Absolutely shit. Absolutely out of it. Um. So then the the Last one is Kevin Stewart. He's just our last writer. He also helped with the first one. I um, I don't remember. <laughs> what did he do? Did he write? Yeah, no, that's oh, okay. what I meant. I meant he helped write with. The, none of the actors why, are involved. I don't know why that can just. Be. I don't either. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I just like my my brain just shut off for a second. Like, oh, okay. What did he do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he helped write the first one. Uh, again, dude, I. I uh, if you're trying to tell me you remember anything other than the basic storyline of the first one, if you're telling me you can remember actors from the first one, yeah, yeah, okay. See, that's why I'd I was, be lying. Yeah, I was like, so it, was, see through me. it was already kind of a wild thing for you to <laughs> ask me. Like, you were, like, if I would have told you that, you'd have been like, oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. I remember that. Yeah. Dis- About the detailed dissertation breakdown. The biggest breakdown. detail I definitely can pinpoint from that movie is it's, it's the one that started us with the joke that only douches drive Jeep. That's, yeah, that's, that's, the that's the episode where we got okay. that bit from. Every time we've that seen dude's Jeep, jank ass yes, running down fucking yes. Jeep. Uh, so that's that's a bit of our lore that I know <laughs> comes from this episode for sure. But I mean, like literally, none of the people. So again, I didn't expect you to know that he was the right. That's why I wanted you to know. That's why I was giving you the refresher. <laughs> he, he was indeed one of the people who helped write it. Uh, on that next note, though, let's get to our actors. Before we hit our main actors, I'll just go ahead because we said we can kill two birds with the one stone. We're it's killing three, three birds. I was going to say three birds. Uh, so Jordan Downey, our director, our writer, is also the voice of. He's not. <laughs> you don't see him on camera. Yeah. He is the voice of Turkey Yomi, Wise Turkey, 
and muff. I understand if you've not seen the movie yet, that's confusing as shit. That's it like will stay that way. It will stay confusing. At yeah. no point will those this names movie all will make never sense make sense. To you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, if Just enjoy the fucking ride. If you watched it, it may never make sense. If you're listening to us try to tell you the best we can how to make sense of it, it will 100% never make sense. I guarantee you that because it is <laughs> it's crazy. So, yeah, but Jordan Downey definitely, he, he covers a lot of characters. Uh, some of those are big, you know, t- uh, Turkey and Yomi, those are two big characters. Yeah, those he's, are so, I mean, basically our main he's, characters. He's talking a lot, but you, you, you don't ever see him. Uh, talking Kevin, to himself a lot <laughs> ironically enough uh, the, our other writer Kevin Stewart he is also the voice of Ronda Worm Pluckmaster and Meowmere again I understand these names sound fucking outrageous guys just stay, just stay with us stay with us I promise it, it's going are you getting a hint of, of, an, of what kind going? of movie we're about to be talking That's, about so as probably say i said i promise we're going somewhere i don't know where that is but we're going we're somewhere going, we're gonna watch we're gonna watch this bad shit brilliant yes. movie uh our other people that are even worth mentioning in the movie are gonna be uncle donnie again I will only refer to him as Donnie. And the movie, I will say, Yeah, largely just calls him Donnie. Except for one character, and it's the most troubling character that wants to keep calling him Uncle Donnie. We'll talk about it when we... Uncle Donnie. It sounds creepy, doesn't it? way... Yes. We're going to give it away too much. I guess. I guess. When when you talk... Once we get there, it's going to sound like, why does it matter? Right. Like, by the time we get there, it's like, oh, that was tame. Like, Uh, that was it. Right? Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, the other people though, we'll just hit real quick because there's not much else going on here. Right. So we've got, um, Joe Hartzler as Jefferson. Yeah. I love Jefferson. Jefferson's a good character. (laughs) Uh, just wanted his long pike. That's all he wanted. Got You can't blame them. I want one too, man. That'd be sick. We have... Wanda Lust as our naked astronaut. I only mentioned this. Returning again. Yeah. I mentioned this because... She is that both of these DVDs or however you Movie watch covers. them, yeah, they they advertise specifically titties within the first like five seconds yeah, or, or something seconds, like that. So, you know, like starts with titties. And they they she deliver. starts both of our movies. She started this one and the last one. So we have to. This one's my favorite one. Yeah, though. we'll get there when we start the movie. It is. I can't wait to talk about <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, we have to give her credit because she is our returning. <laughs> A she is, she's actress. like the only yeah. other than turkey she's the only returning character uh well i don't kind know of. she's not a character she was a she, pilgrim I yeah think, she's a pilgrim one. last time <laughs> uh but she is returning we also have uh let's see i'm just gonna do some real quick ones here we got the voice of nibla is preston altry uh the voice of mrs turkey is benjamin seaman that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's not spelled the way you think, though. So he's at least got that going. He can him. do the argument. It's not pronounced that way. It's C man. Uh, well, it's S I E M O N. Simon. I don't know, but I see semen. Sorry if we're pronouncing it wrong, man. <laughs> uh, we've got Mike Lentzberg as Greg Garbage, David Cronin as Pilot. Ah, uh, so close to Cronenberg. <laughs> Uh, and then Mark M as the voice of Flois. Nobody else is even in a character big enough to yep. mention. What? No guy on the fire escape going, hey, look, it's Uncle Donnie. That guy don't get a credit. He doesn't, but if you wanted to know guest death one, two, three, four, I could tell you those. Oh, is that the ones? I there? don't know whose deaths <laughs> those are, but I can tell you the person who played guest death one. Nice. Well, I'm sure he died well, even though I don't remember who he is. Well, it, without them giving me a reference of... Because does guest death mean the first death in the movie, or does it mean a specific scene where they're calling that guest death? You get what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's an odd way to have credited him. It is him. very... The last person that I want to mention, though, is uh, the only person who's maybe got some real notoriety from the movie. And again, it's the one you don't see. Muff. Our, our Muff... Again, we'll get into this. Muff is a very big, big burly robot thing. thing. Sex slave Cthulhu, robot. Yeah, sex slave Cthulhu robot. Uh, but so uh, it is performed by the suit performances as a person. 
the voice is not that person. Right. Uh, but so the it is uh, Alan Maxson, and he is one of the three people who helped do the stunt performance for King Ghidorah in the most recent Godzilla movie that had nice. King Ghidorah in it. So it's cool. It's dope. Uh, again, you still wouldn't have seen him. Bet he was the main head. I hope he got. I hope he got so. top bill. He was he was he- head one in the credits. Could, but could you imagine that he goes there to be that person, and they're like, "So what else have you worked on?" And he's like, like, "Godzilla." Thanks. He's like, "Think no." He went to oh, Godzilla. Oh, the other way, the other way around. <laughs> he went to a place like Godzilla because Godzilla was after this, and they're like, "What else have you worked on?" And he was so like, thanks "Killing three. Thanks, Killing three. You ever seen it? It was one of my favorite works. <laughs> I was Muff. So yeah, I mean the, the friendly bounty hunter robot demon. thing. <laughs> sex slave i don't even know it's it's so yeah okay doesn't matter yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think at that we just just kind of have to start. start talking about the movie because again there's nobody else to talk about there's nothing else nope. to say so we just there's just wild movie to start we just, talking about we open with tits boobs in space boobs in space this is so it's outrageous yes this is the most impractical spacesuit i've ever seen it's just just to the tits are just cut out and covered with like the fucking foam noodle. I was about to say they did at least it, they sewed. So it, yeah, it, it was so sewn. cut. It it, it was Looked comfortable. Even, it was an even uh rim to like, you know what right. I mean? like, it, it didn't look like they had like one was like an inch this way and one was only half a cent. Like, they put some work into yeah, cutting out. Someone the tits. made it a decent costume, but it's impractical. They should have put little, like a plus, domes domes right? over it, right? Just so you. I can believe that uh, she's surviving in space. Like they gave her the the space helmet, so, and it was the clear seat. Like, just literally take one of those, put it two on the of tits, those, excuse right? me, one on each side. Doesn't uh, matter. She gets blown in half here in a second. Oh, seconds. Like, the, it, you it's literally the cheapest see Photoshop. It's just, meh, she splits in half. Uh, and we, we quickly realize, oh, we're seeing another movie. Yep, this is this, Thanksgiving 2, filmed in, in space. space. And then we hear the best intro for our lead character ever. Nice tits, bitch. In, in space. space. <laughs> because that was one of his lines in the first movie. Yeah. Nice tits. Bi- oh, man. I was like. But we're in space now. <laughs> yes. It was. Again, if you love a cheesy horror movie, that's the thing that's a beautiful mm-hmm. nod and a wink for you, right? Like, they did it. They did it perfect. Uh, but then not only do we see that that's what Thanksgiving 2 is. In case you were at a buddy's house and somehow didn't know he put in Thanksgiving 3 and thought you were just watching Thanksgiving 2, they make sure you know, no, nope. you are not. Because we start to hear the over, the what we find out later is an elder turkey. In, the wise turkey. Right now. We giving us our that. narration. Yeah. Here's the worst movie ever made. And it immediately got destroyed. It was so shit. bad. They felt the need to destroy everything. Every copy, copy in existence. And we get our first dubstep music video. With the crazy <laughs> montage of all of it being like rounded up <laughs> and tossed in a, in a ditch truck on the these, moon. These, like, Where was this? I don't know. These dudes come out in like full like gas Hazmat, mask suits yeah. with a flamethrower and it's all badass. Dude, I Metal want the soundtrack fuck, for this thing. It's like awesome. the scenery was so like I was like th- like I love the music it had, but I was like, man, I could also early two thousands dubstep music videos. Yes, it was so insane. I love that if you were paying attention to everything on fire. It wasn't even just the movie. Did you see? There was like full merch, and they were they were it, the movie is literally so bad, everything that had to do with it. Had to it's be being destroyed. erased from existence. It was so good, but so the, it, I would say that while the music is great, we can't spend forever talking about it. that movie. It was probably like four minutes. Yeah, it, well, was, it went it, on for a while. Lots of flames. Lots of good, like, flame cool, thrower, yeah. cool shots of the flamethrower in the truck. And there's one where, like, the two dudes are just kind of, like, doing the buddy cop pose with the fire behind them in the truck and stuff. Yes. Just like, yeah, we're badass. <laughs> one of my favorite. <laughs> That's the screenshot, that- right? <laughs> uh, once that finishes, though, we get the, the weird wise turkey comes back over and he goes, but that wasn't the beginning of our story. Every story has a hero. No, this oh, is, is that be- not that even part? before the hero, we get where he says, this is the beginning, and we see Worm and the fucking Muff Oh, yeah, Worm and Muff walk up. And for nothing. He, they walk up to the remnants, the remnants of the of burning the fire. fire. Yeah, and they're like, oh, it's all burnt. 
this is gonna piss turkey off and it makes you think they're working for him. yeah that's what i thought at first i was like oh no he has like minions right that's exactly that's bad uh well and the whole movie kind of plays these characters that way you never yeah. even once you're solidly like they're good guys you still are kind of like are they waiting for especially Rhonda. maybe R- not muff but definitely Rhonda worm i'm wait, like yeah, you seem crooked wait, i'm for, waiting for wait him for to other, turn up yeah waiting end. for the other shoe to drop i still love you turkey uh but right now we don't even know their names we don't know right no it's just worm and robot yeah that's yeah my notes are just like i don't know my note about Rhonda at this point is literally just like there's this worm thing that looks like a flesh-colored mr hanky the christmas poo <laughs> with a mustache does Right? I was like, I, any kind of sounds, <laughs> Mr. Hanky like. Right. Uh, Howdy yeah. And don't, yeah, don't let the name Rhonda fool you. It's a man. It's a man. They don't make that super clear. No. Even because with the I, with mustache space worm, I can't uh, automatically. Is, yeah. I watch enough Star I'm not, Trek. I'm not going to judge an alien gender right? species. Uh, I've watched enough Star Trek to know like male, I did that wrong. male features. Alien species yeah. gender. There we go. But yeah, male features to us don't mean male features to another alien. So mm-hmm. like mustache doesn't mean male. I just mean in his species, that's just like a huge set of tits, right? The yeah. bigger the mustache. For all we know. All we see, though, is literally seconds, uh, seconds of these two seeing the rubble and then being like, Turkey's not going to like it, walk away. Yep. So they're cronies. Yeah. As far as we know. As far as we know. If that. Even I don't know. The second time we see him, we're still like not sure. Like, do they work for him or are they bounty hunters? Oh, you might have been right. The hero line might already happen. I don't even know when that hero line happened. Dude, I'm not even going to try to pretend. Doesn't matter. This movie is so wild. So there is a scene where, again, it lasts probably as long it as does, this one. It does the 90s music video flashes again of Yomi. Yeah. And it's like, she's lost her mind. Blah. And then the fucking little vagina brain floats off in my it's yomi. definitely like a uterus it flies not away. look like the a wing, brain like fallopian tube wings but they say and it's the her mouth, mind the mouth opens like this like yeah. sideways it doesn't help uh but yeah so they say it's her mind we don't know anything about what she is nope what's Just, happening there's a muppet here. in this movie okay and that cool she's in, that she's our hero maybe yeah I supposedly guess. uh so again I, I if we if we got them uh, mixed up, it's not a big deal because it doesn't matter. They feel very unconnected, and they kind of stay feeling very unconnected for, for a lot of the, of the movie. movie. Yeah. Um. So once we again, this is where it gets. This is where you guys are going to understand why it, it it doesn't matter which right. one of those happened when. Because the next thing we're going to tell you is once we're done hearing about that hero seeing our worm and muff, muff out and in the shit, yeah. place it's an 80s sitcom yep we've gone to the uh the, with the, the turkey the, the fucking the the wilson's house turkey's birthday yep it's turkey's birthday and it immediately starts did you see him he like digs at his crotch and sniffs it i was like dude <sighs> what are you doing We've not seen you in it's it's four years. I like his little birthday hat though. But yeah, this is four years since the last movie had come out, right? So like, no people hadn't seen our favorite turkey in four years. First thing we get to see of him, scratching his balls, which I guess is on brand. Yeah, it works for him. If you've seen the first one, I guess that makes sense for. <laughs> but him. he lives in this this sitcom hell now, like laugh track included. He's got the wife and the annoying kid. Oh, and, and he just so, hates his existence. It's awful too. the The wife comes rolling in. She's like every like cliche you hate about thing, but yep. like ramped to ten, right? Yep. <gasps> Mrs. Cleaver cranked to eleven. She comes in. She starts throwing up to the kid. Yep, because he needs him. some cake. Because it's how birds do it. They throw up on each other. The kid's just like, Mom, I don't want cake. You're not even getting it in my mouth. More icing, Mom. <laughs> what? what the fuck? In this movie is so again. It lets you know real quick. Even during the part where you're kind of like, oh, well, now I don't even can't say that. You, you're not going to see the the 80s sitcom turkey life and be like, it's kind of like normal. No. <laughs> but the, the vomiting definitely maybe <laughs> goes way off course really fast. That's really gross, too. It's like bright green and chunky. This is also the part of the movie. Like the, the puppets that we had seen up until right during this scene had still been like what you expect from what we had seen in the first movie, right? Yeah. Like the, that Turkey was still a pretty decent puppet. Right. And we see him on the couch. He still looks yeah, like he that. He still looks good. 
from what we could see of the worm for the little bit we saw it during that scene. You couldn't and, see the stick in the and first the other, one. And, and Yomi looked like a full, like, yeah, puppet, style like a Muppet puppet. style puppet. So, like, these are some decent looking puppets, right? And it still seems, it, it seems like you're getting a, a decent level of standard. What the Man, fuck when, happened to Nibla? when Nibla, and I want to make sure everybody Nibbler. Nibbler. Nibbla. And it, I really want to stress that because as we go through the movie, th- when Turkey says that, it like he like he starts to get so hard on the A that it sounds more and more foreign, and you don't realize it's supposed to be connected to the word nibbler, right? Because he's just like nibbla, nibbla. Like, it's so crazy. But yeah, so just so we can make sure you understand, it is it is definitely a joke about nibbler, but they dropped the R nibbler, and they did not. One but of his Nibla wings has, is like barely hanging on, and he's on a stick. And they did not put stick. any fucking you see, effort well, you see into his puppets. Sticks. I love it because, like, you know, when they do the jump part, like yeah. you see, you see the wing stick and the body stick both fly. I was like, God uh, damn it, they're too good. <laughs> and again, like, you, this may not be for you. If if you see, yeah, if you want a serious film, don't watch this. But if you want a fucking movie, yeah, watch it. If you want something that's fun. And you're gonna have a fun time with get your friends together and just and have a great time. This is probably that moment that you're gonna like. You will have decided right now if yes. you if you if you had been watching, because again, the production value through the music and stuff. You're like you're like oh, yeah man shit, shit, yeah. yeah I'm about to get a good. As soon as you see that first puppet, that's that when you see Nibla the first time, that's your first inkling. Like oh, oh, oh production oh, value oh, isn't oh, that. No. They, spend, <laughs> they spend a lot of money for that. Right, like they didn't. <laughs> they all the all the budget went to the music. I can they believe pay, it. Though. They had to pay the music guy a lot of money. Well worth it. Fuck well yeah, it was. It. I want this soundtrack. Yeah. We will get into it more, but it's definitely just way more of what we got for the opening. And they just find great places to drop <laughs> it, in. throw it in. Uh, just random music videos throughout the movie. But so uh, while Turkey is dealing with his shitty, shitty home life, he's just kind of. He's taking it on the chin. He's just right? kind of letting it happen, but like, hi. son talks about wanting the the Pluckinator three thousand. He shows off his toy, toy version, version of, of it, it, right? Like this little tiny thing. Hey, look, and you put the turkey in it, plucks it, it and does all the 30 shit. Thirty seconds, right? No yeah, it cooks it in thirty seconds. It it butcher it kills it, butchers it, cooks it, spits it out uh, the other plucks end. It. We, yeah, plucks it. Yeah, it is it Pluckinator. Too. Uh, and then, yeah, cooks it and spits it out. 30 seconds. Sounds like an, and we see, as soon as he's talking about it, we see the infomercial and we get a little bit more about we it from our, Uncle Donnie. Uncle Donnie. Uh, it sounds like an amazing invention, right? Like when it you does. first, when you first hear it, you're like, oh, wow. That would sell. But then when you actually think about it, who owns a turkey farm? Who owns? Nobody. Dude, <laughs> like we live in an area where there are turkey to hunt and I still don't know enough people that would catch enough you'd use it to once make a year. that thing worth it like you'd, you'd use it once Maybe, a year max if you're lucky enough yeah so again it's one of those things that sounds dope but even in our world of like this is an impractical device it's an impractical device right like i mean it does you can just go buy a, a turkey turkey like yeah, if I had this thing, I could go find a live one. <laughs> we, you can know? To- we can totally understand why, despite the fact that Uncle Donnie is in an infomercial and owns uh, this company, is also still living with his that friend weird Jefferson. Shack with his friend's friend mom, mom and yeah. shit. So it is what it is. Uh, right now is what I want to make clear to you because this is a real inf- like this commercial they made he made a real fake real infomercial fucking infomercial for this. and this one fits for the story we're gonna see a lot of these commercials and most of them have dick all to do with yeah, the story dude, nothing uh so, so this is the first actual one that this fits. one ties in but it is to let you and know it's on an actual tv there are more commercials coming as soon as the commercial is finished we roll into the news right yeah oh, talking man. about Thanksgiving two, the, the death of Thanksgiving two, she do this reporter kills me when she wraps it all up with, and then and some people have been known to refer to it as Thanksgiving do, do. oh <laughs> dude oh when she I was s- proud of herself she was <laughs> I was a little bit proud the first time I was like I like it because you know do is two in French yeah it's good but the fact that you have to think that much about it is also what makes it not good. I don't know why I loved it so much, but I did. 
It uh, reminded me of Hot Shots Part Two. Yes, that's yeah, what exactly. I thought of. Exactly, I was like, "That's exactly. pretty funny." That's what I'm saying. Though. That's what I'm saying. It was good. You, want, you just want Charlie Sheen to pop his head on the screen for a second. As soon as red this, bandana. Yeah. As soon as the whole conversation with the news is, uh, as soon as she's done delivering the, this report, Nibla is like, "Dad, that's awful. That's your that movie. That fucking sucks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's I can't believe they did that to your movie." And then literally the wife turns and goes, "Yeah." I mean, I knew about it. I thought we could at least be able to make it through your birthday without, yeah, without you, you finding, finding out. out. And he goes, "You knew?" She was like, "Well, yeah." Your uh, your movie friend called me and said it was the worst movie ever, and they had to burn all the copies. And he threw the last copy he had in the trash. Sorry, honey. Here's some cake. Oh, sorry. This is a hundred percent. We have to say this. Me and Bo were literally talking before, and we were like, "We don't know how that movie ended up." Ooh, oh, later, in the, like in the this, trash. That's it. Yeah, it's her. It's his. It's, yeah, it's his friend's copy that somehow it's ended the up in the trash and then in the or backpack. Something. Yeah, that makes We're sense. We're idiots. I am dumb. We I literally are. just. <laughs> We both are, because I even told you I was like, "Did it come?" I from? was just going to. I go thought it came with Yomi's magical land, dude. I was convinced it was Yomi's vagina brain dropped something. it off in the trash can. I I am very proud of I us was, for I was being just gonna on. Go past it. I'm very proud of us for being on recording, hearing our First, own notes, and being like, "Oh, oh yeah, we even wrote that's it." That's right. Down. I wrote it down over here. <laughs> we couldn't remember. Uh, this is this is how you guys know this is real. We don't. This is not a show. We're not. Yeah, we're we not don't script. Fake, we're not this. faking this for you. This is this is hundred percent how this goes down. Sometimes shit goes wrong. <laughs> Sometimes we can't remember things. Okay, let's get back on track here. Uh, so the 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 as soon as the news got delivered and she admitted that she knew about it and she was hoping to keep it a secret, what happens? He fucking kills her. Real demon comes back. Yeah. The, his, the whole room changes color. It turns all red and he pulls his demon wing blade out yes. and just slices her in half. I love the metal it folds, wings. Like, folds open and Nibbler's like on the other side of her, like, Mom, no. Did you think Nibbla was gone? Yeah, I did too. I was I, like, he's going to go kill him I too. I thought immediately. Especially the way he was talking. He's just like, when your mom told me about you, I told her to leave the egg when outside. When your mom called me when I was in, in space. space. Because again, guys, two was not only supposed to be a movie that really happened in this movie. Two really took place in space, like it was yeah. actually in in space. space. It was a real thing that Turkey did in space. They just happened to film they it. They filmed it and made a movie, and it was so bad. That's mostly editing's fault. I just fired the editor. Oh, this movie is so crazy with the 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 things they want you to think about it. Uh, but so yeah, she it, the. He does not, however, kill his progeny. No. He says, come be evil with me. And, and the says, kid's like, yeah, evil. sure, I can be evil. Watch, Dad. And he makes a a, a joke about the, the carrot cake. cake. You're... The carrot cake tastes like ferret cake. cake. But then he starts to try to explain it to his dad and starts getting it backwards. And I was like, kid, stop. Just stop while you're ahead. And Is that goes, how a pun works, Dad? <laughs> yes. I'm not even just evil. I'm downright nasty. <laughs> and then they leave their nice, lovely 80s suburb home. Oh, my God, dude. I love it. Uh, we leave this uh, to see the fly. The drunk fly. <laughs> flying towards his dumpster. Man, I really hope I don't get pulled over. I can't afford to get another F U I flying under the influence. And it's just a rubber fly. God on damn. a fucking stick in front of the camera. Cheesy is the best though, right? I, I love it. enjoyed this movie so much. Uh we now get to see Yomi a little bit more. She's our, frantically our digging through the trash. Our hero? Yeah, that's the what we were told. Why is Turkey said she's the hero? I know. I, I still don't know. But yeah, so we we get to see her. She's digging through the trash. And now we get to see what will become part of her her power set. She, she can, can make just make puppets appear inanimate from, things yeah. or even animate things turn into puppets and then provide her with useful yeah, information. They give her exposition and shit. So she just she's down there in this garbage bag. Just starts talking to her like, hey kid, you looking for something? Greg garbage. Greg garbage. She's like, I lost my mind. He's like, well, it might be in here. 
And then he started, but he, right. He starts telling her things. <laughs> this is all important because they're dumb words that connect to everything outside. Cause she, again, he, it is exposition. Like he's yeah. he, not even exposition. He's like setting up foreshadowing for her in real time. Like right before it happens. She also happens to look over in the trash can and see a backpack. This, this is, is that part that we totally, meow mirror. <laughs> well, and this is that part that we totally skipped over and we just had the revelation for that backpack had to have been the thing that the friend put his last copy of the movie in and threw it, and threw it in the, the trash. trash. We just never miss it. Yeah. yeah. She saw the she saw the backpack. She saw Meow Mirror. She was like, I remember that. And then they we had this, this whole flashback fucking animated fucking acid cartoon. Trip cartoon. The fucking cat roll call. The fucking I don't the, smoke weed. <laughs> I'm the smart one because I don't smoke weed. I'm clitoris cat. Clitoris the <laughs> cat, dude. Oh, it was horrible so and dumb. so funny at the same time. And then Meow Mirror is there in real life standing next to the... the but still a cartoon. Yeah. Oh, let's make that clear. Meow Mirror, not a puppet. Nope. Amongst He's other a puppets. It's a cartoon standing next to puppets. It's what so much. <laughs> it's so much, dude. Oh, my favorite... Sorry. Since... Since we were naming some of the cats, my favorite was Whisker Biscuits. <laughs> when it very first started, it was the very first one they said, and Whisker Biscuits. And I was like, Whisker Biscuits. That's awesome. <laughs> Just fun to say Whisker Biscuits. Sorry, we can move away from I'm the name cats. name my cat Whisker Biscuits. Uh, but yeah, so as, as soon as, I don't even know what we were supposed to learn here, other than she does pick up the backpack. Yeah. Again, doesn't become important for a while. Just the movie's in there, yes. apparently. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and tell you. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. It's insane. But so she gets out of the dumpster. I guess it just showcases her power of being able to turn shit into puppets. When well, and or to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah. She does have. She just. She is magical. The yeah, because she is exactly in the right yeah, spot. Because yeah. who comes walking down the stairs but Uncle Donnie, Uncle his fucking Donnie. self. Uncle Donnie. She yells for help, and he helps her up out of the dumpster. And he's like, "All right, thing. I'm gonna go on. I'm go. I got. I got things for Thanksgiving. I've got a." ton of food people waiting for me at home i gotta go what's thanksgiving do you think my mind is at thanksgiving you have my mind because she found a little piece of paper from his ad that says peace of mind on it he says ask your parents <laughs> i don't know what they are not who what i don't know what they are and that's when he starts to get worried about her he's just right? like oh okay, okay well, weird thing i don't know we skipped over what is the best thing about that, though, because we did the come out. We did the found the, the flyer. We forgot the dude. Oh, the the dude on the fire escape. The, hey, oh, Uncle Donnie. There you Uncle are Donnie. Over there. Why is they that guy here? They used the same shot twice because after yes. he gets done talking to Yumi, he tries to walk off. Well, yeah, that's what it she shows finds, it again. <laughs> when she finds the flyer, like it was the way to remind her after reading the flyer that right. that was Uncle, Uncle Donnie. Donnie. In case but she it's forgot the, in five just seconds. The exact in case same she, shot yeah. of that guy. In case she had forgotten, they needed to make sure, right? <laughs> so Holy good. shit. Again, this movie is so eh. it's it's I called it brilliantly batshit. Yes. That's what I called so it. So again, guys, if we flub this up, if we mess up, remember <laughs> the, the it, plot got, is not important. We got, we got uh, the plot is insane and not super important. We're drinking some strong high stuff. proof whiskey here. Uh it all doesn't mingle well, but at the same time mingles perfectly. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys, but I, this movie's I, wild and so are I'm we. I'm sure you can hear that we're having a blast. <laughs> Normally, you guys might hear this and tell that we're a little frustrated. <laughs> we can't tell where we're at. I don't know about you. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm good. As long as we, as long as we get to the the granny, the rapping granny, because that's, that's like the next thing, that is right? The, that's where I say we can just go. Because Donnie's there like, okay, I'll show you. I'll Thanksgiving. take you home, which makes no fucking sense. Because he started the scene off being like disgusted by right? her, tells her to take a shower. Yes, you stink. stink. <laughs> and now he he ends the scene with almost like already giving her the eyes. Did you see yep, it? Like, like when he was like, "All right, I'll take I you guess. home." I feel bad. And you're a weird cute puppet thing well, yeah so now we get to see like you said uh, well what we would assume at first is his home yeah because well he lives there he does but, but it's, it's not, not like his his home right no it's uh jefferson and his mom lois aka lois 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 i don't ever use lois it's no, only lois she earned that name dude yeah she, she did. got that name on the streets like everybody should right like flois is <laughs> granny a bit of a hoe but now we 
we got to point out to people who haven't watched it before listening to us. She is also a puppet. A fucking puppet. We, w- despite being a real person, w- we could have had an yeah, actor Yeah, Jefferson for... isn't a puppet. Yeah. He's a real person. Well, no other human is, is a, a puppet. puppet. They're all humans. Puppets in this movie are just... I guess it's too nasty to have an actual grandma sit there and say that shit i don't know well and it's all nasty like it's suit like they do the pan up in the wheelchair and there's like the piss hose going Going down through the bottle and shit because she has a catheter yeah it just scrolls up to her face and she just starts busting rhymes she drops the 90s plastic (laughs) Plastic shades shades. dude pink vanilla ice style dude ah i love flowers i love flowers my favorite then Jefferson walks in and is just like and stabs the cheap the stereo. You the, know you can't do that, Mom. What are you talking about? We don't allow stuff like that. There's gonna be none of that type of stuff in Thanksgiving land. What the hell is that thing? Did you tape a butter knife to the end of a stick? It's my long pike. You know that. You know it is. The head of security needs a long pike. This is a stand-in until my real one gets here. He's it's obsessed with it. Supposed to be it. here today obsessed with his log pike i'm cracking up because this is something i would do when i was a kid just tape a butter knife to a stick and again at this point in the movie the first time through i still just assumed that that it was donnie's brother and mom right Mm -hmm. it's literally not until donnie walks in the door that you find out that he's just a friend because flois says something like you and your dumbass friend and your colonial bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you look yeah. ridiculous with your fucking wigs Both and of shit. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because again, like that's the thing we gotta say about Jefferson. The the name <laughs> should give away, but obviously is not an automatic giveaway for he is also looking just like a, a colonial president yeah, like Donnie. I don't even know if we took the time. No, I forgot. We were we laughing didn't. so hard about Uncle Donnie's entrance. He's wearing a fucking curly wig and the He his, slams it down on the ground. His fucking jacket though is way cooler. It's all sequined and shit. Well, because he Uncle Donnie takes it seriously. Look, Jefferson might He takes his job seriously. Overboard. He's really obsessed with the historical accuracy of everything. He's like, This is how a security officer looked in seventeen whatever the fuck. Uh, I just need my damn long pike. Right? Uh, when, when Donnie comes in though, running right behind him, <laughs> you know, like before he had a chance, like it was so funny. He comes in the door. You can tell he was trying to say something before what happens. Yeah. Happens. Fucking Yomi just comes in. It's like, she, ah, is this Thanksgiving? Is my brain here? Head into Hi, the everybody. trash can. Head into the trash right? can. First thing. <laughs> and then immediately pops right back out, goes to the counter and fucking jefferson throws the long Long pike pike down towards her hand what are you stop doing that she's stealing our food we we get my favorite line in the entire movie is like he's getting so upset with her and donnie's trying to be like it's okay it's okay and then jefferson just looks at donnie goes Look, man, I don't know what she is, but she's getting me all riled up here. Rile, 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 rile. rile. <laughs> she's just she, jumping, fucking she, trying to. She get. says it to to the to the, like the knife stabs for Psycho, right? right. It's like rile, 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 rile. <laughs> it. I don't know why she it doesn't even me. know what it means. She's just like ah, she, funny word. I'm gonna do it. She's just, yeah, exactly. Like she's just like an ADD kid. Fucking on a Jefferson sugar rush. immediately hates you, Yomi. Oh. Uh, but every one of the like three or four times I watched this movie in the few days, dude, just belly laugh at from that, that line, dude. Like I don't know why it tickles me so much, but it does. Oh, okay, okay, we gotta move on. Uh, but yeah, so while all this is going on, Jefferson at no point is okay <laughs> with her being there. He is just constantly looking at her, like, "What is this thing? Why is it here? I don't want it here." She reaches in. This is where we get the line uh, that you that you were talking about, where he where where he says she was trying to steal our food because it's our second puppet, the cockroach. Yes, our exhibition cockroach. Right? She just pops. She up. tries to eat some of the chips, and the cockroach jumps out and starts talking to her. And throwaway line mentions that he <laughs> just dropped a ton of eggs off. Like, I just they chips. laid like three hundred eggs in those chips. <laughs> <laughs> And by oh. the way, I saw your brain. Why are cockroaches always Mexican? He's like, I by mean, the way, I saw your brain. It's over in the over there, and it flashes the over oven. to like this 
19th century oven. oven. This is an old ass oven, brick oven with the big iron doors. And as far as we know, one. it's That's the cool. one that they're actually using because, like, earlier you don't get to see him point at it, but now is when you can tell that it is the oven in the direction yeah. that Donnie had pointed when he was like, We make pies and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, like put, he's like pointing. Come help me put the pies in the it's oven. It's in that oven he was talking about, too. Like, what the fuck are I they mean, doing in this I mean, house? I mean, the pie's good ass pies. I'm sure it is, but. They are dedicated to the historical accuracy. This Thanksgiving man. land is going to be something. Let me tell you what. It'll either be super fun or a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass if Jefferson if, has if Jefferson's to working it. that day. Because as soon as she snaps out of this after being told that story and he's getting accusatory towards her about stealing food, Jefferson starts telling everybody how it'll be, God yep. damn it. And this is how it's going to be at Thanksgiving land. There's no cutting in lines at Thanksgiving People land. People stood in lines. It was a tradition back in the day. <laughs> That's just how it was. That's how it was. And no dipping food in the gravy river. But me and Donnie have gone over the logistics of this, and we think it could still work. But, but you can't be putting your grubby food down in there. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. And then, he, then he's like, oh, yeah. Donnie, do the voice. Do the voice for the Thanksgiving land. I'm not going to do the voice. And then he immediately he whips around. He's like, welcome to Thanksgiving land. And blah, blah, blah. Does his whole spiel and stuff. And then he's like, holds his arms up. And he's like, waiting for it. Jeff Jefferson, the lights. Pike. He's, it's like five pike. minutes. This thing goes on forever. He's just like trying to flip the switch. All he would have to do is take two steps and do it with his hand. But he's dedicated trying to hit yes. the light switch with oh his fucking God, long pike. Uh, Beautiful. But so they flip it. We get a little bit of our mini presentation of Thanksgiving Bing, land. The sign yeah, it, oh, lights yeah, yeah. up. It's nice. <laughs> um, I think we need to take a break before we go any further with what's happening here, because we need to see what's going on with, with our with turkey. our villain. What's what's turkey and nibs up to? They're flying on a seagull. Seagull as taxi. you do, as you like do, you do. I guess. Well, he's, the seagull's kind of a dick because he's just there. He's like, yeah, I bet you're uh, super jealous about being, you know, because yeah, I can yeah. fly and turkeys can't. And Tur- Tur- turkeys just he's like, bet your ass he's I'm like, jealous. I'm fucking right I am. You know what would happen to a turkey if he went to the beach? It's not he, fucking pretty. He said, I'd have to hang my ass halfway off of this thing just to be able to shit on somebody. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nibbler's on the phone back there, like with the movie people, like, man, they burned all of your shit. And sorry I had it's to be the gone. one to tell you the bad news. What happens? It's okay. Boosh. Kicks him off. I'm flying, Daddy. I'm, I'm, oh no, I'm falling. Ah. Hamburger. Hamburger. The, they censored it. The little, like, half ass censor bar comes up. Oh, it's this thin it's across, like, two, like a mashed huge up smashed beef. Yes, body. Dude. They censored it. Uh, the censor bar was there. But don't fear. <laughs> Nibla's not gone. No, he's. Still, Turkey shows still, up. Still, he's hanging on by a thread. Turkey shows up somehow. <laughs> Daddy, are there playgrounds in heaven? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to cry today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so uh, you think it, it, again, Nibla's not surviving. Yeah, he's a pancake. But we get, we get our next... Uh, uh, important piece of story for him to take part in which is where he gets sent off into the spirit world but under the guidance of his dad yep. right like so he, he doesn't even get to go you. off to heaven or no. whatever he gets, like, he's like a puppet it's like a wisp puppet. puppet he goes i like he's going off and he's like he's like daddy i'm flying but i don't know where i'm going it's the uh, isn't that where he hits the hat off the seagull? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was my favorite, favorite hat. hat. What the fuck? Oh man. Uh, again, I love it. All of it. This movie is it's too. Funny, How dare this movie not silly. have a ninety nine percent rating on on IMDb? Uh, let's see. Again, uh, I'm fairly certain we're sh- all kinds of crazy it's, out of order. I no, it, I know it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to say it matters. I think just, it goes back. To... Uh, I'm trying to think of the next thing that we can tell them that's important. That's all I was even saying that for. I think the next thing we should mention is, since the spirit's going out, that this is the first time that we blatantly get to see where that last copy of the movie is. It's in... It's in no. It's in Yomi's, Yomi's backpack. backpack. Yeah. Again, we've already told you that, but this is the first time the movie shows anybody that that's where it's at. Yep. And Nibla's spirit is going to take possession of the DVD. And Which it, is so it, crazy. Like, 
Did, or I can't remember the order of events now. No, Does, no. I, is, I, it, is he in the DVD? Then in, it opens, or does it open and he gets in the DVD? It opens and then he gets into the DVD. But keep right now, it stays normal. That's the key yeah. Thing. It's just it, a it DVD. Still stays a DVD. He can't move. He can't talk. Nope. He's still just there. He peeks its. Yes, that's about all we out get. Of the, is that he can look out through. of the backpack, and so that way Turkey knows where he's at because Turkey is still seeing. He stuff. looks through and he's just like, ah, oh, it's Uncle Donnie, not that dick. <laughs> Do you notice how Turkey knows everybody? He does. He just knows everyone. And and again, like at first I was like, oh, well, Donnie's in infomercials, mm-hmm. right? But even when Donnie sees Turkey, he makes a comment kind of like he knows who he is. I This is why I literally had to go back and check to see. 500 if, some years old. He knows everybody. I had to check to make sure if Donnie was in the first one. He is not. No, no, he's not. But I did have to check. Like I was like, am I missing something? Wasn't there a... a was one of the characters named Donnie in the first one? No, I checked. Okay. There's no there's no possibility unless it's an unnamed drop of a background, you know what I mean? Like I'm no, not going back and no, watching no, it no, no. again just to Well, find I will. Out. It's an hour, but I did not before we shot today, that's for sure. Uh maybe that'll be one of those things I'll let the Patreon. Yeah, that'll about. be a bonus post. I'll like, hey, it. I figured it out. Uh yeah, so uh, again, doesn't matter if we're a little bit out of order. I was, <laughs> I was, none of this, none of this none matters of this at all. Matters. It's all just so wild. <laughs> just this is a visual movie. Yes. Uh, but so while all that's going on, we we get more of uh just pandemonium in the household here with with Donnie and everybody. Yeah. Right. Like they're just Yomi all. uncovers the the prototype pluckinator this that's thing covered is in, insane as a death trap all these wicked welds there's like a coke bottle fucking shoved you, into you it get to hear a little bit more of this weird story that donnie's not wanting to tell anybody about yeah, right? he's he's like, so sh- he always just kind of mentions like little pieces of it at first yeah because he's super weird about it he's like get away from it it's dangerous don't it. we don't do that we don't, here we don't turn it's been off for years we don't touch it he tries to like cover it back up and jefferson the whole time is just back here just like bitch shut up yeah, quit, quit trying to talk about it. You're just gonna exactly. make it yeah, worse. Yeah, like, te- like telling Yomi, like, look, right? like, girl, damn, like, like dude, I don't like you, but he does. Yeah, stop it if stop. you want him to keep liking you. Uh, it's the one time Jefferson was trying to look out for his homie there. Right? Yeah, a little bit. Look past his hatred. He just know he knows if he doesn't, he's gonna hear about it for the next Probably. fucking week. Hundred like, percent. I'm uh, never gonna get him out of this funk. It's all your fault. Then all of a sudden, we hear a knock at the door. Wonder who it can be. Oh, it must be my long pike. This scene, this scene is so fucking funny. As soon as he's like, he turns around and he says it the first time, totally normal, normal right? Yeah. And then, and then we start hearing the angelic music. And then he's like he floats floating towards the door. The and it's like this whole soliloquy Look, about his guys, long pike. It's my long he's, pike. He says it to his dad. His dead dad, he says, Now I'll hey, be the dad. best security officer ever. <laughs> and then, like, this moment where we get to see, like, the angelic phasing stop, but you still hear him say it one more time. The Guys, blood, it's my long the bike. blood coming out of his mouth. And the look on everybody else's face, like, <sighs> of what has actually been happening He's this just whole been time. chopped into bits. There's just chunks of Jefferson all over the floor. Turkey hit him so hard, so fast, so quick, that much like he did a couple of times <laughs> in the first movie, he is now wearing Jefferson's clothes. Yep. Just took him. He's, he's, he's got, got the, the wig, wig on. He's got the shit. suit jacket and everything. Holding his fucking log pike. The, oh. the butter knife one. Yes. Not the, He never did the, get his the, real the, log yeah, pike. It, as far as we know, never showed up in the mail. No. Nope. Turkey whips the fucking butter, butter knife, knife off. off. <laughs> Nothing like some Mexican brain butter or, or whatever the fuck he said. said. Just smears some he Jefferson on toast. Guts onto some toast. Mm. Takes one bite and then he makes this weird. It's, he's trying to make a, a reference to turkey and how we yeah, eat, you should like, save everything in the to yep. eat on it. Yeah, and so he's making that joke about Jefferson's corpse on so the ground. So we just gonna shove him in the fucking fridge. <laughs> Holy crap. Went cold turkey. Oh my god! The puns. Oh, we've not even been hit. Yeah, no. Most of just, them. The turkey is everything is a fucking one line. Oh, man. dude, he, and he's good at it. He's like again. We made fun. We were like, uh, uh, Doctor Giggles has some. Doctor Giggles got shit on turkey for one. Yeah, no, it's nothing. Uh, 
It's it's perfect. Uh, once once the death and <laughs> yeah. pandemonium of Jefferson is a little bit over, yeah. Uh, Turkey looks over and sees Yomi again with the he knows everybody. Did you see it? He yeah. Like, he looks at Yomi. He's just like, yeah, oh you you fuck are you doing here? What what is this? Deal? Still no explanation. No. And then Not he looks over all. and he sees the DVD and he's like, ah, good, Nibbler, join me. And now we get puppet Nibbler. This was great. And it's a little head, it's the little turkey re- it's, head it's peeking out of the DVD case. It's the miniature version of turkey. It's awesome. Head only out. <laughs> of what, Flying on a string. Of what looks like, it looks like literally like the dinosaur uh, in Jurassic Park logo, right? Yeah. And it's like his head is and that. just kind of it's peeking so out of it. I love it. He's he's got the he's got the more turkey like voice now. It's not super like <laughs> squawky, squawky sound and shit. like he was when he was little little kid little nibbler. kid one. Uh, but what and now though starts the the weirdest uh storyline of Nibblas where he constantly just goes back and forth of wanting to be with his dad and not with his dad. But not in story. Like, they don't tell... Like, it's not like a Yeah, it's thing not like an we, arc. We just... It just we'll, happens when it's convenient. He'll just be talking, and we'll just hear him randomly be like... He just goes like, with whoever. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> whoever's got him, he's just kind of like, okay. I'm glad I'm with you. Yeah. I'm glad you've got me now. All right, Dad, let's go and do evil stuff. And then uh, Yomi has him. It's like, oh, I'm glad you got me away from yes. that, my dad, just and all that const- evil stuff. Just constantly throughout the rest of the movie. They hear a special voice. Yep. It's a disembodied voice from nowhere. Donnie Be- even calls it out. He's like, hey, do what the weird voice said. Beckons them into the pantry. The Which, pantry. The pantry. I just want to make sure we're very clear Door opens this. by itself and everything. But you can already see. There's like branches. It is branches not a fucking shit. pantry. Yeah, there's like dude. branches growing th- into the wall. We don't even get to focus on that nope, right now. because as soon as they dive in. It's a cut to muffin worm. We're finally going to get yep. a little bit more from them. Jeez. They're lost. <laughs> Jeez, Muff. Don't tell me you didn't download the newest Snoogle maps. <laughs> now I got to call the nerd worm. Nerd worm. Hey, nerd worm. I got the a worm? flavor to ask you. Dude, we'll get that. The, <laughs> the banter is so disgusting. I love it, but it's so disgusting. But yeah, the flavor. Hit me, hit me with this again because I All love right. this. Hey, nerd worm. I got a flavor to ask you. Vanilla. What? You asked me what flavor. I told you vanilla. God damn it, nerd worm. I'd eat your chocolate if I could. Uh, Rhonda's a dirty <laughs> bastard through this whole fucking movie. Dude, both of like I I don't I feel like if we saw more of this entire species. Yeah, it's just how they it's are. Just what, yeah, dude. Like it has to they're, yeah, so, they're all super horny. This is when we get the official introduction to Rhonda. We know that that is the worm's name now. Yep. We know that Muff is the name of the robot. We also know that the robot's brain is based on Mandy Moore because Mandy Moore's most recent album got was dropped. Down, was in. downloaded into his head. That was so random, and I don't think it even ever makes sense. That was the last time the you heard anybody talk about Mandy Moore either. That's no, what made it, even dude, it funnier. was so random. Well, then it was like just so that way they could get the line where the person actually says, "Yeah, I turned Mandy Moore into Muff." <laughs> just for that joke i think so dude like why if not why Why not (laughs) oh my god while they're talking about all this stuff though we get uh another one of the weird lines from the two of them they're just talking and the worm just goes oh i also need to know uh, Rhonda says i also need to what was i can't even remember what they asked something about turkey right like i need to know this yeah i need to know the location the location of the last uh, I think they Last found one more. Yeah, yeah, I need to know where that location is. Well, that just came out of nowhere. Well, wait, I thought we were just talking about Mandy Moore. <laughs> Old news, slut. Old news, slut. Now I need this. Yeah, dude. I'm... Well, that's no problem. Let me jump on my uh, automatic satellite tracker unit. <laughs> Did you <laughs> see on the, the computer? He does the, the clicking noises with his mouth. Click, 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 Did you click, see click. on the computer that the acronym? It was literally <laughs> no, what he just, just said. said. It was the automatic... automatic. I was like, God damn it. It was like an 80s cartoon it was, perfection. It was great. Yeah, no, they, the, they get a nice schnoogle maps location yes. for it. Uh, after that's over, we get to go back to our heroes. Uh, again, I'm going to throw that in air quotes, quotes. for always because I still don't know if that's what you call these guys. Hard bumbling dumb bucks. That's what I might call them. Uh, and it's it's literally them 
in a forest. forest. F- not a pantry. How do we fucking get here? They're just pushing Flois in her wheelchair She's through the woods. She's rapping a eulogy for her son Jefferson. <laughs> and and I want to call out Donnie on this. He does. Fuck he, you, Donnie. Yeah, he's just like, are you seriously doing that right now? It's her son. She's like, yeah, I'll do it anywhere I goddamn can, motherfucker. It's her son. Yeah. Fuck how, you, that's Donnie. How I roll. If I want to wrap the eulogy, <laughs> I will. Yomi says, "Do you miss your dead friend? <laughs> like it didn't happen five, five minutes ago. ago. <gasps> Do you miss your dead friend? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Right? Like again, my answer." Might have been Donnie's. I, I it just happened. Uh, yeah, you just heard me. Like, wh- give it I, a second. I haven't processed. I already it yet. cried once. I can't cry again. It's been a couple. Like, it's been yeah. two minutes. I haven't had time. I just dried up. Jeez, bitch, what are we doing? And I'm trying to figure out why we're in this goddamn forest. Still, I haven't figured it out. Right? Help us. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. Says wise turkey when he shows up out of nowhere, nowhere. and he explains to them the forest is. A weird purgatory for the, the rest of the realm. Fretheren. The Fetheren of the Feather Realm. I love Fetheren as a word. Dude. This is where all the, the good turkeys go and die, right? And he's, yeah, he, this is when he starts to mention some of the, the old story, right? Like, and that turkey, he's he was no good turkey. He, he yeah. turned on man. He became man. angry yeah. and evil. After man, no, they, don't get me wrong. Wise Turkey still acknowledges that we as men fucked up and slaughtered their people. Yep. But he acknowledges that most turkeys became like him, wise, and above that. And accepted their fate. Turkey Turkey. Turkey did not. He was not okay with it. No, he's he like, fuck vengeful. that. I'm going to kill all these motherfuckers. I'll turn, and then I will Native have American a human curse feast. got laid upon him. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Like, when he, before he starts telling the whole, like, backstory and shit, Donnie's just like, ah, oh, I hear a really long, incredibly boring explanation coming. And then it flows right into it. Once it's finished, he hands Yomi a wishbone. <laughs> To which she says, thanks for the boomerang. <laughs> and then now what do I do with it? And then he says, it's the only thing Turkey is missing. So that's his wishbone. I don't or even any know. any wishbone? I don't know. Like most of this movie, doesn't I'm matter. very lost. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it's I'm only... actually a little surprised the wishbone actually came back. I am too. <laughs> I, was, I, I really I was, felt like seriously, they thought it was gonna be like a throwaway yeah, line. I felt like it could have just never been mentioned again. Uh, uh, Donnie gets commanded to protect Yomi, uh, stay by her side, keep Turkey away from Nibla. Yep, because he he put a curse on yes, the movie. Yes, we finally get to find out that, that that's what's somehow going on here. he. And if you watch the movie, it's you you die. I don't know if we get the full uh, every bit of it, but we yeah, we definitely get to find out that that is the final piece. I think that's all right because again, wise turkey <laughs> is much like Gandalf. He never tells you exactly, exactly what, what it is. Mean. He just kind of gives you like the starting point, They'll kick you in the right direction. And so he's kind of just like you got to keep turkey away from Nibla because that's the key. He yep. doesn't really tell us what the key a key to his plan. We don't know what the plan is. That is the plan stream it yes we'll get there i felt like that was a very meta statement uh in a movie that had no other lead up yeah, to right. it but we'll <laughs> just gonna stream it online it's fine yeah uh, we gotta deal with hbo <laughs> it's gonna be on max uh when everything is finished here donnie again starts to do the weird eye fucking towards yomi did you see right like, is there supposed like to be some weird romance implied? oh there is definitely a weird it's romance super being fucking implied. weird and i don't like it and it gets it's a muppet man more and more uncomfortable as the movie goes on definitely uh they are then in the like almost abruptly like literally conversation is seconds yeah, done. seconds of being over and then magic warp fucking crazy <sighs> and then yeah. we're back in the pantry couldn't stay in turkey purgatory forever, I guess. No, I guess not. They're not turkeys. Why is turkey got tired? He was using his, he, his powers to keep them there. Plus babysitting at the yeah, same he was babys- time. Yeah, we didn't mention that. He's babys- babysitting the two swallows. This is when we get our first sweet music interlude, dude. They wake up or whatever. Yeah, back or whatever they're supposed the to be as soon on. as they get there. 
It's turkey trying to get inside Yomi's head. Yep. Right? And we get the badass the DVD. Oh, dude, I love this fucking music. Uh, the lights I, are going like, get, like if you're epileptic, you and, might want to yeah, be careful. Yeah, it's a little trippy. We get like lava red, lamp, like fucking shit. Red, blue, and green just like flashing all around everybody. You ever been like high on LSD in a club? That. <laughs> yeah, so uh, but you can hear Turkey like trying to convince Yomi like, just give me the DVD. It's Come okay. On. It'll be fine. It's what the world needs. We can rule together. <laughs> Basically, she's a, like every like she's about aunt. to give it to him and stuff, and then fucking muff through the fucking wall, <laughs> and we get the brief, uh, uh, wise fucking turkey, whatever his <laughs> actual name is, oh, yeah, uh, I mean, like, voice in her head saying, "Don't forget, you have no yeah, he brain can't control, mind. He can't control your mind. You don't have one." And she goes, "Oh yeah." But then, but then it gets worse. Is still under its control, <laughs> and that statement would imply never should have been under control. No, I don't understand what just then, happened like, here. The yeah, then Muff, gets even worse. But then, then Muff, Muff and Rhonda bust through the wall. Shoot Turkey. Still kind of confused though, because when Turkey hits the wall, Turkey starts talking to him like, "Come on, man, join me. We're friends. We're, 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 we 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 can rule the world together, man. You remember like we used to talk about." They mentioned their sex history. Yeah, like like we used to hook up, man. Come on. Again, leaving it very questionable on what's supposed to be going on. Right? So, like, again, as we said earlier, you're like, are they here to help us or not? Or not? It is very in the air. We still don't know, but Donnie doesn't doesn't wait. He goes and jumps over to the pluckinator the or whatever. Pluck the master. Pluck master. Starts... He's like, ha ha, and goes to pull the lever. He can't get it. Nothing happens. Yomi jumps up like, ah. And then they both get it. But just the look on his face and shit. And it just cuts over to Turkey and everybody just staring at him like. And now I love this surprise revelation of Pluckmaster essentially being Audrey 2. Yeah. This was so little shop of horrors it was. for no reason. Because it's a sentient robot. It once fed things. Yeah, it's very sarcastic and smart ass to Donnie. I was like, I thought it would have sang a song. Man, right? I was like, on. why did we all of a sudden get this I didn't even plot think of line? That. I didn't even think thread. of that. That's great. But Turkey gets fed through the yes. fucking thing, and he's just like, it's like stage one plucking. Yes, he's no. like, no, not the plucking. Ah! Stage two. What was funny is stage one says it's just the plucking, but you see the giant fire. Right. But then the part where it says they're cooking the turkey, nothing that looks like heat. Or flame. No. And I was like, shouldn't that have been stage Where the three? fire was? What are we doing here? Props department. I need to talk to they you. They did it backwards. Editor, maybe? Editor could have just yeah, spliced something. those in different places, right? Put three where one is and one where three is? I don't know. Somebody somebody dropped the ball right if we there. get the half-cooked, broken, bloody turkey and just shot spit, out the window. Spits it out the fucking window into the foreshadowing for a skeleton us. graveyard of the, all the failed turkey experiments from the past More successful the man Been said he used you. it to make food plenty of times i guess he just messed up because that night he wanted more and shouldn't have sent somebody out for that delicious, oh, delicious yeah, that, gravy that was in the the forest too that yeah. scene wasn't it we skipped over it it's okay dude his wife gets, and kid get eaten by wolves <laughs> It's so it's ludicrous. And again, for That's why he turned the machine off. Well, and again, for as serious as it sounds, it it's it's silly. In any other movie, it's a great mon it's a great monologue. And it's talked about so quick in this movie too. Right. Like it is literally like talked about and then we get maybe like one reference to it again later. <laughs> the yeah, later the the machine is like, Hey man, sorry about your family. Yes, and he's just and then like we don't really don't, talk don't about, about it, it again. So like I said, it is what it is. It is. Uh, it's not the most important thing in the movie to talk about how his wife and child died for sure. But the turkey's dead. Hooray. Movie yes. over, right? No. Uh, no. It's never that easy. It can't be, dude. Because Nibla still has to be destroyed. Oh, yeah. We got to deal with we gotta the movie. Go inside. The, uh, the other thing we forgot is now that Pluckmaster did its thing, we still don't know if Muff... And Rhonda are on our side. Yeah, because he's they're menacingly coming up to Donnie. And Buckmaster is the one like, telling man, that dude's gonna kick your ass. No, he's not. Oh, he, he's walking up on you like he's gonna kick your ass. Well, Buckmaster <laughs> keeps calling them Canadian. Too. These Did Canadians. you notice that? <laughs> these Canadians. Why you got these Canadians in my house? Did you turn me on in October? Thanksgiving <laughs> in October. 
goddamn Canadians. I'll I was like, kill you. Jesus Christ, the levels of that joke were just so much in one little tiny scene. Uh, but yeah, then that's when Rhonda finally gives a full and proper introduction of themselves for everyone, us as the viewer and the people right. in the room. I am Rhonda, the earthworm from, from space. space. Earthworm from space. That's just fun. That's just a fun little thing, isn't it? Earthworm from space. Earthworm from space. Well, and it's funny is like, obviously the implication there being like not a not lived here mm-hmm. right like they mean like it's because that's the species of worm we would know earthworm worm. from space from space as soon as donnie hears earthworm from space donnie then says well welcome back next time use the front fucking door <laughs> i just loved the welcome back because i was like no no <laughs> god damn it you donnie didn't, not you from didn't. here not back just welcome. Yes. Stupid. God. Like but he is ma- mad about his master just over is like, nice job. He's like, thanks. <laughs> now, I want to point out, Donnie has no right to be that mad about the house. It's Flois's house. Yeah, she should be and the one she is sitting off. there, and she doesn't seem that no, mad. No, she's just over like, y'all got rap up in she space? She's asking the important question. Starts spitting out bars and shit. She's like, anybody bust beats like that out where you're from? Jupiter. She specifically asked Jupiter. Jupiter. That's specifically the one. They rap like that in Jupiter? No, not really. But let me let me explain why we're actually fucking yes, here. Dude, yes. Oh my god. So yeah, Rhonda uh, then gives us the full explanation of how when they were filming, filming the, the movie, movie together, they had a tryst off to the side, fucked each other crazy, and during this time, Turkey gave the Full plan. Yep. He put little bits of his soul into each copy of the movie, like a fucking horcrux to curse people when they watch it. And so then they that would, would die in cause horrible pieces fashions. of him to cause them to kill people. And but you get it. Yeah. And, and likewise, and onwards and onwards. Demon mutant turkey zombie army, something. I believe, was what yeah. he was after. And so the only way the for us. time he's doing yeah. the thing, we have Muff is just doing the the march and well, it's so yeah, fucking him, ominous it's so funny too because he told let's him, start said, our useless march so that way we can seem <laughs> important it looks so impressive it does and then, and it then cuts we down to the feet the and feet it's just puppet wibbly, feet dangling wobbly, dang- just oh flopping god, it's so fucking funny oh my god <laughs> so uh during the whole conversation though everybody that's listening they're all just like oh holy shit oh god we that's bad need we to, need to get rid of this movie do, yeah how you're do, right nibla, how do we do that nibla does need to be destroyed and there no one is even like no one is saying anything about it nibla is still there nibla doesn't even say anything at first it's just kind of like letting them talk about oh. killing him oh yeah i guess that is what we need it to wasn't do. until finally they came up with the actual way to kill it right Rhonda goes, well, the only way to kill it is to kill it where it's, it was created. In space. space. We, need to, we need to create a vortex and shoot a particle beam. Donnie at first was like a spaceship. <laughs> Rhonda was like, we ain't got time for all that. No. My <laughs> man's here. My Muff. man has one in his ass. Fucking Muff just Direct flops. Direct route straight there. Muff flops down on the ground, grabs no, his fucking was, shit. Assume the position. Assume the position. Muff jumps. I mean, <laughs> jumps back Flat forward. back bump, just plop. Feet. In the like the amount you of can't twist time that way. happened, it was so quick. It was so quick. Just ass, ass in, up the air, in the air, ready to go. Rhonda's just like, watch this, and does the fucking the me dive into his ass. Oh my Anybody god! Anybody ever done any muff diving? Check this out. Boo. We just need to make it a little bit bigger here. We gotta make sure this cavity is nice and loose. Hey, pilgrim boy, you'll like this one. A little, little butter, butter churning, turn, churning, you know. But, er, churn. Just, and they're just fucking spinning, <laughs> writhing and wriggling. Uh, it was wait, so even with its puppets, but yes. it's still very disturbing. <laughs> and then when everything is done, jumps out of the butt, says, "Just gotta put the code in now." And a magical. Oh wait, wait! I I have this. Oh, I sorry. have the code. I wrote it down. Well, the mat. Let me just say this: right. the magical number pad pops out, out of, of nowhere. nowhere. And then Bo can put the. Co- I've got the code. So I have the code. All right, I wrote it down. It's nine 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 pound sign. I had two more nines. Oh, did I? Do I miss a nine? God damn it! It should still work. 
<laughs> it was so funny. And, you know, it's again, it's was it's one of those jokes. You're like, it you're goes waiting. on too long. I was sitting there, I was like, I'm gonna laugh so hard when the next number comes in, and then it was just pounced out. I was like, Yes, there it is. You're like, that's the payoff I needed. That was Thank all you. I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we get the I wonder what <laughs> I wonder what he was eating because he's <laughs> Rhonda said there's a yellow buildup. Curry. <laughs> Cur- robot curry. <coughs> robot robot curry. curry. And of course, the thing that says that, the pluckinator, the other <laughs> robot. Right. Because it would know, right? Yeah, because he does it. He God knows. Damn. He knows when you eat robot curry. Look, that line is horrible, and I thought about not even telling you guys. But sometimes you just need to know. I'm trying to make sure you really understand the kind of movie we were watching here. And sometimes lines like that can't describe it better. So much has happened already, and we're only like halfway through the movie. Oh, we're a little yeah. bit more than halfway. But we're doing, still, though, this we're is doing so okay. Much wild I shit. know, I know. Oh my Just god! Just the amount of wild stuff they've crammed into like what an hour and a yes. half bit movie. Now we get to cut to outside. Turkey frightening corpse. time. Frightening time. He's not zombie, dead. zombie necromancer turkey going on now, right? Skeleton turkeys. Reap no. <laughs> Was this supposed to be – at first I thought – the first time watching, right? I was like, oh, it's just supposed to be them using any kind of remnants of any turkey out here. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're going to, like, transform but then the Yes, but then the second time I watch, if you listen to the conversation they have after they finish, they're like, we can't give you your penis because it wasn't with the those rest parts. Of, yeah, yeah, so they – it's all gathered up all pieces. the bits. Yeah. What about his feathers? Shouldn't they be in the back of Pluck Master? I agree, dude. I agree. Like I said, the lines don't make sense. It's just so they can have the funny dick joke. But the dick joke still could have worked. They yeah, could have just been like, we didn't find we didn't, any dicks. We didn't find a dick out right? here. So they didn't have to be like they didn't have to throw in these lines of like your body, right? Like I, that was the part. That was He's only much. upset for a second, and then he he does the Evil Dead fucking montage with the chainsaw and shit. But he makes a chainsaw dick. A, a separatable because later on he definitely still uses <laughs> it, it like a chainsaw it's so fucking funny it's a ch- uh, chain carver it chain says up the song. carver has to be made from some of the diamond plated turkey carvers yeah from the beginning from the, from the infomercial. infomercial free giveaway from the infomercial cut a tree with this thing bullshit you cut a tree with it i want it if you can Oh yeah, that's a hell of you a fucking You take that camper with you. Knife. That cut, that helps you cook your meal and cut your firewood. Right, everything. <laughs> oh, uh, so this is after this we get to cut inside. Uh, Rhonda starts b- bopping off the weirdest sci-fi gobbledygook lines in the world. All the fucking worm puns and worm and jokes. Shit. That's what I was gonna say. Like all this weird stuff just to get to a worm, worm joke. joke. So many. Obviously, we don't get this piece of storyline, like but I think Rhonda is off. trying to be a stand-up. I comedian. think so. He's, he, he he used to be. Had to be. Like Either the, used the to be, random cut in at the end where he's like playing the saxophone. Like, well, I, mean, I was going to say, used to be trying to be something. Yep, he was a, a, a comedian who wanted to be an actor. Yeah, something. But then Turkey fucked his whole life up. He hooked up with Muff, and he's on a revenge tour. Uh, while all these jokes are going on, Turkey makes his way in. Yep. Chainsaw Ch- through the fucking building, right? <laughs> he fucking... Who's, he, what happens? He pops in and he says something about string... Che- I'm gonna kill you all like string cheese. And we get a fucking another random animated ad about fucking cream cheese... Or string, string cheese. cheese. Not that healthy whole milk cream cheese. Jesus. Screw that. Full this chemicals. is fully lab created. So fuck you. I... And then it cuts right, right back, back into like it, it. Didn't like happen. it didn't happen. Like you just had yourself a stroke or something. <laughs> it is priceless. You, it's, like I you, mean, it's like you changed the channel and changed it back all of a sudden. I, it, dude, it's it's great. You can't, fucking you can't, love can't it. Get and it's only it. like it's like ten seconds. Yeah. Seriously, I mean that's all it needs to be. Soon as that's done, though, my my least favorite thing happens again. This lady looks horrible. She's weird as shit. She's she dirty. says some foul stuff in the movie i put d'angelo's cock in my mouth and held on yes. for dear life is that what you wanted to hear <laughs> don't do the don't do the d'angelo pussy thing mom. where you smell your don't, pussy don't, don't that's do it, it mom. Oh, that's this the thing one. Right Stop. Oh. <laughs> now all of that being said i was so sad to see flois die dude yep 
She died like a badass, though. She's just like, come on, I'll fuck you, you son of a bitch. And she takes the chainsaw into the mouth. This is the first time we get another one of those, like, solid throwback to the first one type of jokes. Anytime someone died in the first one, we had the but first the, people that died yeah, there to hey, welcome them him to into heaven. heaven. We get the same thing here. Here's Jefferson. He's looking down. It's okay, Mom. I Come got on. my long pike. God, God's waiting for that slob now. Yeah. I fucking love it. Lois is the best fucking character in the whole movie. And now she's gone. And now she's dead. Oh. R.I.P. Flois. Yep. One love. Poor All that. If, if we were, <laughs> if we were in a beer. room, we'd pour, pour a little out for Lois. Oh, man. Uh, once all this goes down, though, the whole house starts getting overrun by the undead. Undead turkeys. skeleton things just turns into this a is fucking the, fight. Well, and it's another, like, badass music, dude. It like, is. it's just fights going More on. Music, yeah. We got fucking Donnie uppercutting turkeys. Doing the Superman punch. Boom. Uh, Muff fucking with his Mega Man blaster. Just blasting taking him out shit. left and right. Bam, bam. Even... Even Yomi gets yeah, a couple Yomi of going shots in. in. I was proud. Yeah, dude, I was proud of everybody for this. Nobody. Well, no, okay, I, not nobody. Ronda didn't do anything important. He didn't do shit. Ronda was on the ground. He just kind of bitched because the Ronda vortex whined. Got, the for, vortex has been interrupted. Yeah, Ronda whined because Muff didn't pick him up immediately. Yeah, that's why happened. What are you doing? You just left me on the floor, you asshole. <laughs> Even though Muff's busy running around blasting fucking everything. Zom turkey. Yes, that's, that's what I say. That's what I got. Zom turkey. That's what I have to Zom turkeys. But Yomi goes and dives for the DVD, yes. right? Because him and her and Turkey are going for it. She gets it first, but he still got that fucking chainsaw. That was the part. While he, yeah, he, he cut he, my girl's arm off, and he now's when it switches from like <laughs> crotch saw. He's holding. Yeah, he, it's clearly he detached. Yeah, it so it's he clearly get it. up here yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, takes out her arm, and you get this this the like red yarns and shit coming out like Hanging blood, down. and she acts like she's dead. Well, and then she is dead. Dude. Yeah, she Let's is, get it right. Yeah, she's dead, but you can apparently revive these. She's getting it. Ev okay, everything from this moment and on gets really, really disgusting with her. Everything. Yep. And it starts with the turkey, because when he's killing her with the chainsaw, they definitely imply sexual things with the chainsaw. Yeah, because he's, like, getting off on yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, once she's dead. dead, she's not dead, right? No. She can come back. You, she just needs a hand. You humans are so stupid. Don't you know what she You've is? You've not figured this out yet? She's a puppet? No, you fucking moron she's the thing that puppets are based off of what the fuck does you that... humans don't know anything what the fuck does that mean i mean we're us humans are stupid that's what it means we just don't pay attention no what does <laughs> it mean for know. it to be the thing that puppets are I based no on idea i understand what the words the man <laughs> said meant. I don't understand what the words can possibly imply about that thing's existence. I don't know. I don't even have like a historical basis for it. Like, well, the ancient Greeks used to have no. stories of puppet no. nymphs that would run through the forest, you know. No. I ain't got nothing, man. <laughs> just uh, for the fucking joke, I guess. It was just, it's just a wild thing to say where they're like, it's totally the thing that you guys make puppets on. <laughs> you people are just dumb and don't pay attention. But now it gets, now it gets even more sexual. She just needs a hand. Rhonda says, just give it your hand, Donnie. She just needs a good fisting. Get right up in there. Now, they don't go that far, but the line is worse because he says, she just needs your hand. Make her talk, Donnie. Yeah, make her talk, Donnie. Because he leaves it gets all deep. He's like, make her talk, Donnie. Right? And he's just like, this is so wrong. He, puts, he <laughs> like covers her eyes. Like, don't look at me while I do this. <laughs> As, and as disturbing as all of it was, the fact that she jumps up and Normal. acts like nothing just like happened, not, like his hand wasn't just, just inside up, her, up, 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 up in her, is what made it even funny. She like, she's not even worried about her hand being cut off. It's just a, it's just a felt wound. But this is also that part where I alluded to earlier, the only person in the movie who always calls him Uncle Donnie, and it really starts right now. 
is her. Yeah. And it starts right after his hand was inside her. They have a special connection. Well, and he wants to have a specialer connection, which makes oh. it weirder that he has a special <laughs> connection with a, a puppet, puppet that sounds like a child, has no mind. Has no mind, so thinks like a child. I'm going to need to see your computer, Mr. Donnie. Right? I'm going to check your browser history, brother. I'm just saying. I'm just no, saying. I don't want to think that of Uncle Donnie. But, but again, that's usually how it goes. He also isn't likes it? to be yeah, called yeah. Uncle Donnie. So, yeah, we'll leave that's, it alone. That's the beginning of uh, Thanks Killing for it. <laughs> fucking, it, fucking Uncle it, Donnie. He has arrest. to come back to take out. <laughs> right? He has to kill, <laughs> stop Uncle Donnie. All right, we're good. We we have definitely we have definitely covered the fourth one's just a big child molester allegory. We've covered the crazy puppet, you sex. So okay, yeah, yeah, we, it's we, done. I don't stop. want to yeah. time in. We're, we're done. Sounds good. Have Yomi's good alive! Yay! <laughs> uh, now is the part where she tells everybody when she comes back, guys. But it's okay. She's sad on this information. For the whole fucking movie. Yeah, the cockroach told yes, her a long time a ago. A long time ago. She finally goes, my, my mind is in there. It, I can go get oven. it. Let's go get it. And Donnie is all gung-ho. Donnie right? says, let's yeah, do let's go. You can't fit in You're there. You're too little. Or you too big, man. In the magical world of the shit we've seen, how are we mad at Donnie for thinking he that could he'd go? be able to go? Right, like how you gonna talk down to him? They just walked through a pantry that turned into turkey purgatory. Yeah, so naturally he would have thought it's the same concept, right? Well, they said it's turkey hell. Yeah, just that's gonna, literally their description. I poke my head into the oven and I'm in turkey hell. That's right? what they said. No, apparently there's a tunnel in the back. Yeah, and so this is not it, and so he has to stay. And but only, it's okay. He has a job to do. Yeah, he's gonna fix Muff's gun because Muff's while Rhonda and fuck the blast are all kinds <laughs> up. Rhonda and Yomi are gonna go to hell, and so Rhonda gets placed on Yomi's shoulder. They say shoulder, and I'm like, I don't know if that thing has a shoulder. It's just a, it's just the stick next to Yomi, and they get dressed up like turkeys. They because he needed a disguise, right? They both wear the fake beats. Yeah, to be careful, okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, obviously, I say let's just go ahead and take care of what happens outside first because it's way less that happens outside, right? We can yeah. do that and not even have to think about it again until Sounds they good. until they leave, right? So outside while they're uh in the oven, it's just that uh Donnie is is able to fix uh Muff's gun. Muff's gun and he has his his forgiveness speech. moment with pluck master the pluckinator the pluckinator dude pluck if <laughs> like the Plucky. terminator but for plucking plucky that's what I'll go with that. as long as you get pluck i'm good really is just remember that one <laughs> your name is just pluck now i'm good with that <laughs> But yeah, so he he has this moment with uh with Pluck. <laughs> he says, um, "Look, man, I forgive you." And, and and Pluck says like the same like they have this. It's that weird kind yeah. of thing where like you know like Donnie had nothing to apologize for, but they still kind still, of both yeah. apologize. But then uh, Pluckinator I'm sorry. starts being a dick again. Sorry for your family. I'm sorry I turned you off. Yeah, but you're still a little bitch. Yeah, exactly. Goes, <laughs> you, you know that thing where you sandwich like. The fucking the compliment thing between sandwich. two good things. It's gonna be kind of really like, like that. Your, but then he said like a bunch of wig. compliments and then said but you're still a bitch. I was like, that's not at all what you just told him you were gonna do. I like your wig. And man, that Superman punch you threw at the thing <laughs> yes, was really yes, yes. nice. But you still a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Is it, but so when it was done, they were both still just kind of acting like, well, we're okay, but I don't really like it. Yeah. But then I love cool now. I love the pan out of Muff, and you see Muff do the like. The, oh, they love like, like, you know, like the I can tell. Yeah, they love bros. each other. They love each other. The love is back. Yeah, feel it. It's just permeating through the room at this yeah. point. But that's it's guy love. <laughs> that's everything though. That's everything that happens yep, outside it. the oven. Now, now we get to go to hell. Now inside the oven, inside the oven, so much more. There's just oh, it's turkey skeletons everywhere. They're like on. doing the all like turn back. Go back the way you came. She gets a magical puppet talk again. 
with rats. Yep. Why are there rats in here? <laughs> They're butt cheesing, man. Leave the rats I, alone. Converse, this is the first time the puppets don't tell her useful information, I feel like. No, not really. They kind of give a vague... Uh, turkey's off that yes, way. That's, that's about it. But the rest of it is just like the explanation of what butt cheesing is. And then did, did you hear what she yelled back on her guess? String, String cheese. cheese. Ah, oh, you cheat. <laughs> oh, my God. Just to bring that full circle back to this. Why we had the ads. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't have made sense. Right? Would not have at all. Uh, but So the uh, her and, and uh, Rhonda keep traveling. They do run into their first set of actual zombie turkeys. Talking about huh. one dude's like bad sex night. He's night like, I man, like, if you're just not going to spend the night, at least you can do is like, you know, give me a little bit of beak. And she, give she's, me some beak. You she's know? like, oh, I can't because, you know, like my beak is sore. So I gave her a shot of gravy to the eye and sent her packet. Yeah, now, this dude. was all when I was still alive, of course. Yeah, <laughs> this was so funny. And then they happen to notice, you know, me and they're yeah. like, oh. More Yomi turkey pulling people. off the acting skills. Yep. Just gobble, 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 <laughs> clap, clap, gobble, gobble, hey, it worked, gobble. Right? It worked. That's all that matters. <laughs> Just a couple of turkeys here, man. Hey, they made it. <laughs> they slip past. Take the disguises off. Uh, Rhonda goes super dirty on Yomi from yeah, this point her... on, right? Like, up until now, Rhonda has kind of been like, oh, this is a magical creature. Like, yeah. kind of like how He's been dirty with is. everybody but her raunchy his was he has like a little flashback fantasy of just sticking his tail in her mouth and shit like she's blowing him it and then it, even he snaps out of it it's like oh, oh, it's just, just a dream. dream i don't know it was it was weird it was very uncomfortable the most horny worm in the entire world <laughs> while they're doing their exploring though they do stumble upon turkey plugging nibla into, into a, a machine it's a turkey head that's been yes. made out of just like that's where i saw like a nintendo wii yes. shoved in it and shit this is the point where we find out this is like we were saying the meta streaming yep he's gonna stream the movie to everybody through this head device and again it is totally trying to make a conversation like 2012 it would have been the beginning era of like yeah, streaming getting big so yeah like this guy was making a a comment, it but it, it makes no sense in the movie we're in to try to make a commentary like that. Uh, if, and I don't really know what that I don't commentary either. is, but I know that's what he was trying to do. Yeah, he, I, I appreciate attempt. Yeah, Be that's plus for effort, brother. Uh, and so we see that he starts succeeding. The machine kicks on. Yeah, they get Trip, more music video. Triptidine uh, transmission complete yeah, or, or starting or whatever. I was like, God damn it, you guys. Too good. We get flashes of people who I guess were watching TV die in horrible I don't fashion. Really, yeah, like, I, I don't know I what happened I did not understand here. what was going on here. I don't know if this was like flashback, if it was what was happening currently. I agree, though. We see lots of random weird deaths. That People start guess one guy gets his like face ripped the off. The girl with the like turkey coming leg coming through her, leg mouth. Coming out of her mouth. Yeah, I I agree with you. Just I don't visuals know. for the dubstep video. It was because I was gonna say it was more of our music. <laughs> I love these music <laughs> Dude, interludes. I, if is it on Spotify? I need to look. I like, bet is there is, a soundtrack to this I movie? I almost want it. guarantee it has to be. While everything is going on, though. Rhonda's like, I got this. So Rhonda says, I'm going to distract Turkey. Yomi, you got to go do what you got to do. Right. This is nuts. The f <laughs> the jump that Rhonda makes. Whoa. Whoa. Smacks into like the leaves and shit. And Turkey's just like, okay, here's my friend Frank and Turkey. Yes. <laughs> um, Actually, actually, I, uh, boss, um, I was thinking about it. I, I really don't want to be called Frank and Turkey. That's, that's kind of dumb. More like a. It's going to be called Arr. Blarth. Because, you, know, you know, Blarth, Brooks, Blarth Mall. Those guys are badass. Like Lots of just places like, you can go with Blarth. Fine. This is my friend, Blarth. <laughs> and then we have the fucking Rhonda's chase, fucking running around being like, Hey, Franken Turkey, it's not my damn name. I've got this. That's what it says. I've got, <laughs> I got this. this. Wee! <laughs> Smacks it to the shit. Ah, fuck you. And then I, I love, love when he runs. He makes the. Shh, I was just about to say that. I said. Because it's the first time we've seen right? that. Like, Actually, everything before this Rhonda has been like carry. Yeah, he's just so, on yeah, somebody. The first time I was like, I when I heard it, I was like, why? Why do we got to have mouth noises? So you know he's crawling? moving. I know. 
but that's distracting everybody. It for, doesn't. It does For exactly. Yomi to go and grab the DVD yep. and yank it off the thing. And then it's epic chase time. Rhonda fucking grabs onto Yomi on the way out. Right. Breaking turkey again, chasing him the whole way. This is when it gets even creepier, dude. Like they're making a run and escape for it. And Rhonda starts whipping Yomi's ass and ch- choking, like, choking her. her. Sexually choking her. Al, for one. Two, where did you get a whip? Don't bother me when I'm having a good time. No, <laughs> I swear if you listen, it's something about his ball. He says it's his ball. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> it's way worse than what I thought oh I heard. Oh, my God. But they get they barely make it to the end of the tunnel and they jump in. Frank and Turkey's about to come through. Muff with his big gun blast him right now. Boom, face. Done. No more. Hell Save yeah. the day. Everything's good, right? Everything's fine. Movie over. Vortex. Well, let's not do even this. movie over, but is everything actually good, man? I mean I mean we won. All right, Rhonda's dying. I, I was ready to say we can't we gotta just get to this it. This is sad, and, I, and everything up to this point of the movie has been Pretty batshit happy Look, go lucky shit. You know shit. where it goes though. So yeah, you know but it's like, not. It, it does feel that way. The yeah, first time you guys watching, if you watch the first time, Rhonda's death scene is very sad, especially when he's uh Muff picks him up. And he's like, no, this "Hold was, me to your heart, darling." And this was so smashes, rough. No, because like, it. listen, because Rhonda was alive. Right. Muff killed Rhonda. He did. Right. Like, he my, crushed uh, him to his chest. R- you even hear Rhonda be like, "Not so." <laughs> <laughs> like Rhonda was going to die anyway, certainly was the implication, but that doesn't change the fact that the actual death happened because Muff said, my, 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 my partner, partner, lover, friend, squish, owner. I don't understand squish. the relationship. And then once, once Muff processed what, what he had just done, he immediately sh- pulls the blaster up to its own head, the head, literally with Donnie screaming the whole no! time. No. <laughs> Because, again, that's their way. Perfectly that's their ticket. done. The whole thing takes like 10 seconds. That's their ticket out of it. That's their, yeah. the, the way to win. How do we get the vortex without Muff? Because, again, it comes we, from the man's Nibla ass. Nibla has to be killed in space. It does, or the whole curse will keep going. Damn it, you people. You all messed so up. So they, they try. They, like, flip him ass up, and he's Donnie's fiddling with Muff's head and shit, and she, Yomi hands him a pipe. Is like, I found this. Will it help? He's like, I don't know. I'm just going to beat the shit out of him Hope until the something best. happens. <laughs> just starts wailing on the, the robot body. Oh. But it's okay. Nobody panic. Oh, we almost forgot to tell everybody. Jefferson. Oh, yeah. When Jeff- Muff shot himself, Muff shot himself we get another Jefferson moment. He's in heaven. He's just like, hey, who are you? What was his name? Muff, Muff, you're more. I, I don't really know you. But yeah, you're I know more we never welcome. met. <laughs> we have plenty of like batteries and old DVDs for you to yeah, eat. That's not super important. <laughs> Just super fun. But I love Jefferson for getting to come back. Every cameo of Jefferson is great. Uh, <laughs> then he's beating the shit out of him, and all hope is lost. Right? Uh, it's super lost. Well, you know they 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 start. Be- he's beating the shit out of him. He's trying to get it to work. He flips his butt up. He's like, I think I can remember. What was the code? I don't know. It was yeah. a bunch of nines. <laughs> Turkey just blinks into the room. Yep, just pops in. Where did this power come from? The- the Turkey movies, knocked on the, the door. The movie's running too long, and they needed to get Turkey him in the room. Turkey knocked on the door earlier. <laughs> just, but Turkey blinks in, just like, let's <laughs> go. Let's go to I'm him. here. Who else blinks in? Rhonda. Rhonda's not dead. He like regrows himself some fucking how. You f- and wise turkey, dude. Don't forget. Oh, wise and wise. Tur- I was like, dude, you're skipping wise turkey, man. You love wise turkey. This is the best. Yeah, Rhonda comes I back after. This. Yeah, I was like, Rhonda comes back after wise turkey. Don't skip your favorite part. I'll even let you go into it. What? So wise turkey wise shows turkey up. Wise turkey shows up. These. Turkey's about to attack everybody. He's like, you shall not peck. And he jabs his staff down, and it cuts into goddamn Super Nintendo graphics. And I love the explanation for why. He says, did you just take me into a game from 1993? And he goes, yes, the same year you forgot to come to my Christmas party. Uh Oh, well, how was it? Uh, it was pretty good. One chick hooked up with whoever the fuck. (laughs) But now you understand by the rules of the... Featherin, we must fight to the death. I thought you'd never axe. Ha, 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 ha. Holy shit, dude. 
All right, now we this, cut yeah. back. Then this was a throwback to the first one. The first one had a video game scene right. too, so it was a nice touch to let us have another one. Just now we really come well back. done. I kind of want a Super Nintendo game of this now. <laughs> while while uh, Turkey is being distracted, we get to go back to our group. They're doing their thing, trying to get the ass vortex to work. Now Rhonda comes back to life. Rhonda's like. Oh, you guys didn't know that? Yeah, this happened to me at my sister's wedding. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> Most recently, at my sister's wedding. Oh, you know. I got a real grub on. <laughs> <laughs> and then just magically, he's like, oh, I can fix this. Yep. Poor dives. Muff. We, poor Muff. Uh, I'll fix you and make you whole again someday. But today, we just need the ass vortex. <laughs> just goes in his brain. Donnie. Donnie the fucking pessimist. Can you fix you, him? No, Donnie doesn't say can you. Donnie says you can't fix him. I can fix anything except your piss poor attitude. That's the only thing I can't fix, Donnie. God damn, he got so called So he shut out. up and he fucking turns it on. And he's just Instantly. like, hey, Donnie, fuck you. And he does. He, Donnie <laughs> is even like, fucking worm. Yeah, fuck that God worm. Damn. I hate that goddamn thing. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. Uh, uh, but yeah, so once the vortex is open... Uh, Turkey shows back up because he fuck like, he yeah, like beat, every time he you think, won, he beat the wise Turkey in the yes. video game. Even has the game over fucking screen. But so yeah, every time you think that things are working out for right. our heroes, like keeps coming back. Turkey is just like, oh, you thought you were getting ahead. How about you're still right where I want you? It's fi- the again, it's perfection. Uh, so the, yeah, they movie. they've got the portal open. They think they're about to. Toss Nibla. Literally, now's when we get that moment where like Yomi is having like the 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 question of conscious. Yeah, and Nibla should I ha- throw? Nibla has that moment of like, man, I miss my mom and all that shit and it's stuff. And sad. she's like, man, I kind of don't want to kill him now, but you have to. You, you, yeah, you got to do it. Well, and that's the kind of converse like that's kind of like the realization they're starting to have too. They're yeah. like, oh, it's not gonna work if we if we don't. Dude, yeah, and you're like, he's just a kid and shit, but it doesn't matter because Turkey Turkey shows up and just starts choking the shit out of her, beats the fuck out of her, throwing her around. around. She has the felt blood coming out of her mouth. Donnie just like, I don't know what to do. Probably better he didn't. Yeah. In the middle of the attack, though, we get our other Jefferson. God damn it, I love Jefferson. (laughs) Because she's dying, right? It flashes that Jefferson. He's just like, oh. Hi, Yomi. It's you. Fuck you. You're not getting in. <laughs> you don't get to come in here. No. Sends her back. This <laughs> is where the advice comes in finally, and the wishbone. Yeah, the that wishbone we wasn't going to be important. She stabs, <laughs> stabs him in the throat with the wishbone, snaps off a piece, and says, "I wish you'd go fuck yourself." And Most they, of his body gone. Somehow. I guess. Because he's just a head later. Well, I, I missed what happened I, here. I think it was supposed to be that he was close enough to the vortex, right? Uh, that the wish, but again, I don't ask me how the head ripped off, but somehow they separated and the body, body went into the yeah, vortex. Because it flashes red for a second. Don't ask me about why. <laughs> I can't answer that one. But now we definitely just have a head left. We have no. Uh, we have Yomi realizing. I definitely have to do this. It is what yep. it is. Gotta She's go. kind of like stepping into it. And the vortex Donnie, is getting worse. It's starting to like pull people the, into the, it. Uh, <laughs> Turkey's not dead. His head grabs onto <laughs> her. her. But uh, Donnie grabs her, won't let her yep, go. Yeah, we got the whole chain going. It's like everybody is grabbing onto somebody. Nobody understands who's trying to do what. Because Don- it's like Donnie, she's trying to save the fucking world. Yeah, let go of her, man. It's over. And, it's and then done. thankfully, Turkey lays that out, right? Turkey yeah. He was like, all of the rest of you, you, Yomi, that fucking guy, this, all of you are inconsequential. If I'm any, the only one that if matters. If any piece of me makes it, I'll I will find back, a way. Yeah. Right? God damn and it. The real hero of the whole goddamn thing, the final moment, Nibla pops up and he's like, hey, Tad, I finally understand how one liners work. Puns. But, puns. I uh, finally puns. Heard- but I don't want to be like you. And smacks him off over and he flies off into Fuck, the... Fuck, I loved that, dude. You son of a bitch! Ah. And that is the end of them. Yep, the turkey's dead. Movie's gone. Nibla and and uh, Yomi start to make their final... Yep, the it's okay, bye. Trust me, 
I know. Her vagina brain comes down through the tunnel. It's like, come on, this is Yomi, what you let's always go home. needed. All the other puppets come down and talk to her too. Gar- we got trash Greg man. garbage and all the meow people. mirror pops up. I'm a gay cat. <laughs> Donnie the whole time though. This is the only other time we even get a reference to the coyote stuff or the wolf or whatever. Yeah, where his family, wife, his family because died. He looks up and says, "I promise I won't send you out for stuffing." <laughs> Because that's what he did to his family. I was like, I don't think that's he's a soothing statement. He's just reaching, I guess. Like, but it's to anything. Me, to me, I'm like, that's not a soothing statement to her. That's kind of more of a, like, back smack to your ex, your dead wife. Right. Kind of a statement, right? I like, won't do to you what I did to them. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll, I'll treat like, you I'll... better. But he also has the moment where he finally is like, oh, wait. I do need to, like, yep. let go. It is time. We all need to move on and... This is what I got to do. They, this dramatic slipping out of the hand and off she goes and disappears into the vortex. Bye, Yomi. And then we see the the like montage of her, <laughs> her in like better place. The right? fucking Inya video yes, and we, shit, yes. dude. It's fucking great. And so she's we, like in the forest. And she finally butterflies she, on sticks. She finally made it to where she was meant to be. Right? Yeah, like the voiceover told her, like everything was right with the world. Right, it's so good. A little so tiny again, piece of felt that's right, on so a string. Again, just when you think that it's over again, right? Like it's like we're done. There's no more story to tell. The the DVD's been burned. Right, movie I mean, over. You know, everything's done. And it comes down like the goddamn feather and fucking Forrest Gump. Gump. That's what I thought, but it's clearly <laughs> on a string. Yes, yeah, no, and, and he, he cuts even it. cuts the string with scissors. Too good, dude. Too good. And fucking Rhonda no. starts singing the song. No, I love that you don't know that it's Rhonda at first. Well, yeah. you know, you do if you know you if know you the recognize voice, the voice. But, you, but but even what I mean is like you don't realize it's supposed to be live. I'm in the, in the room. Rhonda. You think you just that it's, think it's, it's you're just like, oh, yeah. we're just being this silly. This is our end sad song. Oh, our friend is dead. Fuck, no, it is literally supposed to be Rhonda on Rhonda his shoulder. shoulder out of frame singing the song in live time to him about <laughs> him being sad and when his wig falls off and he starts singing about him picking oh, up the, the wig. wig fell off i wasn't expecting that it's gonna get dusty down better there. pick it up <laughs> better check out all the dust oh my god dude I what you think of my song dude. oh too soon no the too soon was <laughs> the too soon was because after the song he said oh it's a nice piece that's of a nice piece i've been of wanting felt. to make a new hat that's that a good start soon. yes that was the too soon that's when he said too soon and then he waited uh, like literally fine, I'll five, wait a fucking second he waited five seconds and he was like so by the way i know you got some empty rooms now Do you mind care? if i crash <laughs> And by empty rooms, he means his dead, dead best fr- friend, friend and, his, and his friend's mom. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Rhonda's such an asshole. Yeah, well, and then as if that wasn't bad enough, like, you you start to see, like, the scene ending, and it's just Rhonda saying more shit like that. Right. Rhonda's just like, oh, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I'm going to be here for the long haul. Right? right? Blah, blah, you can't blah, blah, get blah. rid of me, buddy. I want to tell you, I wanted you to know that I think your clothes have finally fit that one size no longer fits anymore. <laughs> you calling him fat. Yeah, dude. God damn. And we are almost finished. Almost. The very last thing. We have to we have to deal with the fact that you know Muff still isn't working, right? Yep, and, gotta uh, repair Muff. The, when did Pluckinator get broken? I have no idea. Pluckinator, the scene literally like fades to black with Pluckinator also complaining about not working. You right? need to fix me too, motherfucker. Right? I don't recall that. Being I don't a either. Thing. But so <laughs> we open back up to see his solution to the problem, which was to he put, smash them together. He put the Pluckinator inside. Oh, um, Muff. So now it doesn't the, matter that Muff's brain is gone. The Pluckinator is Yeah, brain. it's fine. Now, to me, though, doesn't that it cause a lot of issues for Rhonda? That's Rhonda's sex slave Wave partner. Partner thing. You can't just give it a new brain and act like it's okay. I don't know, maybe Pluckinators are freaking into it. You know? Good call. I bet you're right. Yep. With the movie we just, just watched. the movie we I watched. That's right. exactly how it went. Then the very last thing we see is this is supposed to be a day later, later the next day screen says later the next day <laughs> how much of thanksgiving land did they already own dude 
quite a bit. They had like the a Ferris wheel and a little earlier, roller coaster. Like they, like they haven't done shit. Anything. It's just Jefferson's this uniform, man has right? Multiple rides. Don't be wrong. He has carnival rides. These aren't like a real theme park no. rides. But he has rides. He has things. He has the full sized Thanksgiving land sign. Yeah. He's got it up. He's super happy. He's actually he's going. He's like, here's this, and here's the pumpkin wheel and the gravy train. And, and all then that the shit. movie ends on a Thanksgiving joke from Rhonda, all about making fun of <laughs> let's let's go slaughter a planet. And yeah, and do it and, all again and eat all their things. And once a year, we'll call it Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Land. We'll call it Thanksgiving Two. <laughs> oh, and that was the that's movie. the end of the movie, guys. Um. Uh, again, gobble gobble, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you other than it's a ride. It's yep. a wild ride. It's a fun. This one. is a brain off. Don't think movie. Yeah. just watch it. You guys know us. Sometimes we tell you like, oh, we well, it's a great movie. We recommend it. I recommend it, dude. Have have to have to watch this movie. No, I definitely will make sure you understand. I I think it's great, but I understand in all normal conventions, great is not the word, word anybody if else. If you are would a use. normal movie fan, yeah, don't hear me say the word great and go into this thinking you're gonna watch Citizen Kane because that is not what I mean right now. I just mean that this was so, so much, much fun. fun. <laughs> And in a way, I can't even explain to you. Yes. Like, me and Bo both went into this because all we knew of it, we didn't. You guys know us. We yeah. don't do research before. Uh, if we've seen the movie, we've seen it. If we haven't, then we'd literally just go. Yeah, we just blind. go watch it. All we knew about this is what we had seen from the first one last year, and that is not going to prepare that is you miles away from what that this movie will not is. prepare you for this. The uh, this, the first one is nice, simple story. Like you can you can sum it up in like a word. Yes, you know, seri- uh, slasher movie with turkey. This I. I, I could spend. I, we need more time. We've I could write a college like, thesis. Right. I need more time. We don't have enough fucking. We time. just spent like, like two, almost two like, hours talking to you guys, and I could go more. Yeah. Like we missed stuff. We missed. A lot of we jumped <laughs> around. We got lost, but we had fun. It's free on Tubi. Go watch it. That's the only thing I can tell you. Just go watch this uh, thing again, guys. You know, all we did was drink some wild turkey. Woo. So nothing really to say about that. Other than I don't know about you, sir, but I am I feeling know. very good right I'm now. I'm feeling a little wild. That's right. Uh, you want to hit him with? You hit him with our drink. I'll hit him with our movie. Okay, drink next week. We're doing Brew Dogs Wingman IPA Tropical Storm. All right, and so this one is a little bit of a stretch, not super stretch, but you know, guys, sometimes. We just want to get to a movie. Watch a movie, damn it! Well, like this is a movie. Bo can tell you. I have been trying to find something for us for months, and he's never seen this yes, one. Yes, so I've he's never been seen dying this one. So for I'm like, to I find want to watch it, it so he can watch it. And so we are going to use this Wingman Imperial IPA to do Gleaming the Cube. And now I will explain to you the far flung stretch that got me there because I know that, that give us your six be, degrees yeah, of Kevin Bacon, <laughs> pretty much. Because I know at home people are probably like, what? So, uh, you know, the movie is all about skateboarding yep. as a precursor for everybody. Uh, Tony Hawk is a big person in the movie. He's literally both in the movie and they've got like his merch and, merch and stuff is, is like in backdrops of the movie. He is known as the, the bird, bird man. man. And so this is the wing man. It's there is a bird. bird on it. We are taking it's some. Actually, no, it's a bird man. He has like a yes. tropical shirt and shit. So we are, we are taking a couple of luxuries. As but m- God damn it, Gleaming the Cube is my favorite Christian Slater movie. And I've been dying to get here. As far as I'm concerned, as long as we can six degrees it enough to get to the fucking movie. And that was fine. only like three. Right? Yeah, that was like, like that three degrees. That, that wasn't that No, many. that wasn't that bad. I'm good. And since it's our show, I think <laughs> that's all that do really matters. We do whatever the fuck we want. Uh, on that note. I think we are done. I am. We're done. I have no jokes. Nothing I can come up with could compare to this fucking wild ass movie. I will accept that. Right. Today. We're done. Bye, everybody. <laughs>
in space.